All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new PTCGO live stream. Today's stream, we're going to be playing around with some more uh, Champions Path decks. Uh, we're going to be playing a lot more now. I was able to get more Champions Path cards. We're going to be playing a lot of new decks. Hopefully, I have some trades up right now trying to get more of these. We're going to try to build Whalor, maybe Lucario V. We're going to be playing some Dreadnought VMAX for a bit. Then we're going to swap over to Gardevoir VMAX, which will be tomorrow's video. And then we're going to be playing around with some other Rogue decks, maybe Trial Tire. We're just going to play a bunch of decks for a bit. See how it all goes with Champions Path. I have about 200 packs of Champions Path right now. I might open some on stream. I actually just opened them before I clicked live. And I ended up pulling another Shiny Charizard. And I haven't pulled a VMAX yet. So I don't know what's going on. I pulled three Shiny Charizards before I pulled an actual VMAX. I don't know what to tell you. Um, it's just some crazy times. Uh, but I'm excited to try things out here. Uh, get things going. I unfortunately haven't gotten my new webcam yet. Did not come in yet. So, still got to wait for that. I, I ordered it, like, two weeks ago. It should be here soon. Hopefully. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited to get into the stream here. Going to try out some new decks. Start with Dreadnought. Again, uh, Dreadnought's busted. Tomorrow's video is going to be on Dreadnought deck. And I'll tell you right now, Dreadnought is insanely busted, bro. I got so many heads. I'm not going to spoil tomorrow's video, but it is a funny video. You'll see how crazy Dreadnought is. Uh, but I'm excited. Dreadnought is probably maybe my favorite VMAX out of all the three new VMAXs. I enjoyed playing Dreadnought a lot. So, I'm excited and uh, we're going to get into some matches here once I go back here. Boom, zoom. There we go. Look at that. I fixed it. Now let me just adjust everything again and set everything up here. But yo, Big Pimpin, CBG Gaming, Javier, how you doing? Unfortunately, it is not legal yet, Big Pimpin. I've tried. It's not legal yet. It's not legal yet. So I do have about 200 Champions Path Packs here. I just opened one, and uh, I pulled a Zard. Because you, you all know I traded a Shiny Charizard yesterday for the All Creamies. And look at this. Ready? I pulled another one. I just opened it before I click live, and I ended up pulling another one, which is hilarious. Um, hopefully, there's, there shouldn't be any stream delay either, right? Um, it's all good, Pokey Zard. You can uh, check today. Yo, Ethan, how you doing? Connor, how you doing? And yo, Baze. See, so yeah, we're going to be playing around some Darkest Place decks here. But yeah, I pulled another Shiny Charizard. It's just insane stuff. Um, actually, I need to put on some music real quick before we get into a match. Um, we'll uh, play some Dreadnought for a little bit. See how some Dreadnought plays. I'm excited to play Dreadnought. Dreadnought was a lot of fun to play. Uh, I already recorded tomorrow's video. Dreadnought? It's actually not that bad. It's better than thought it would be. Uh, let's put on... We'll put on this Sword and Shield remix. Get that down for you guys so it's not too loud. And boom, there we go. All right, boom, we're set up. Now we can get into some match. We're gonna play some Dreadnought. I got Gardevoir VMAX built too. Yeah, it's banned because there's like a glitch where it was like doing 200 or 130 or something. It was doing like 260 damage instead of 130 for two energy. So it was a little overpowered. So let's play some Dreadnought. Curse Law Arctizol, play Greedon. I did build Greedon Altaria. I'm gonna be probably playing that. I have some trades from pubs so they go through my ears. <laughs> Yo, chill, big pump. Can we play each other? Unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing any viewer battles today, CJB. Unless I run you on the ladder. I'm not going to be doing any of viewer battles today. It's going to be strictly ladder matches. Just saw the Alcremi fit. Nice. Nice, nice. I don't know. The, the Alcremi deck, I didn't really like that much. It was okay, but it wasn't like amazingly... It wasn't really that good, in all honesty. It kind of played... Um, well, I was drawing pretty badly with the deck, as you guys saw on stream. But uh, I just didn't really think... I don't think Alcremie is very good. It also, like, I get bodied by metal. But Dreadnought, on the other hand, I actually think Dreadnought has potential. Yeah, I think Altaria is better in this situation. It's on stage one. Stunfist V hits green. Yeah, I know. Stunfist V hits the Altaria if you attack it. All right. Um, well, this is a uh, definitely a PTCGO hand if I've ever seen one. I've been sub for two years. I've been good, Chimcha. And uh, glad to hear you've been a long time sub. That's kind of sick, man. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. All right, there's a Dreadnought. All right, sorry, guys. I was just uh, talking to somebody here on my phone. Uh, Marnie them. They have a pretty big hand, so... My real life deck is now your Grimmsnarl. Which one? Bro, what are these hands, dude? Oh my goodness. Sus, 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 sus. My real life deck is now your, I love it, it's fun to play. I don't play Pokemon anymore though. 
Really? What got what got you out of it, Chimter? Opinion for TCG of Digimon? I don't know much about Digimon. I've never I never watched that show or anything. I'm playing Greedent Pod Cursula and it was doing great. Except every match against Tennis Forge. Hmm. Oh no, this guy gets the Sonya. He's gonna get the real boomer in play. Bro, it's these bad hands, I'm telling you. I love the Milotic Vileplume deck. Yeah, that was a fun deck to play. That was a fun deck. I had a few more Milotic deck ideas in mind. I think someone suggested a pretty cool Milotic. It was a Milotic Stunfist V deck. I might do a video on that deck still. So that seems like a fun deck. Um, ugh, I just wish our draws weren't so sus, bro. What are these draws today? Hydreigon Grimmsnarl? Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Um, okay. This hand's a little bit better. I think I'm just gonna dead a change here. We'll see what happens. Oh, we didn't get a Rillaboom in play. I just realized it must have been in his hand. It's pretty good. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's probably gonna hit him for 10 damage. How is not Vmax good? It's actually not bad. Not Vmax. Um, gets heads, you do 240 damage. It's two-shotting almost everything. Like, 160 is still good. Okay, nice. Super growth. Um, we're gonna have to dead a change again here, I think. Oh, he's gonna go with Decidueye in play. That's fine. It's actually good we put 10 damage on it, because we can knock it out with Aurora Loop here with Suicune. Do a switch. Okay, let's calm. We're gonna have to dead a change. We could- oh, I guess we could- no, we don't- I don't care for Crobat. We're going to another a Glimwood Tangle, which is not ideal. And a boss. But again, if this game would actually let me draw well, we'd be okay. Alright, there we go. We got a good enough hand. My Loktic Gardevoir VMAX. That could also work, too. That could work, too. There's definitely a lot of decks I want to try out. Alright, here we go. Can we get heads? We do. All right. I will say right now, um, tomorrow's video is a little ridiculous with the amount of heads I was getting with Dreadnought. All right. Hopefully he doesn't move the egg route here because I want to knock this thing out with G-Max headbutt. No, bro. The switch. Hmm. So we need to draw really good here if we want to take a knockout with Suicune. I play Welder, Marshadow, Machamp, and Expanded. Nice. And I'm not interested in Digimon Pokizod. I really like your thumbnail. I tried to make... I Bro, I could not figure out where Dreadnought's eyes were, bro. For the life of me, I couldn't figure out where Dreadnought's eyes were on that thumbnail. So I just put the eyes, like, in its face. I was like, all right, that's probably where his eyes is. I don't really know. All right, come on. Give... Oh, I actually could have Marshadowed on Crow, but then I got rid of my last... I don't know about that, actually. Okay. We got a knockout. That's good. We don't have to give up all the energy on our Dreadnought, though. But that's fine. Oh, give me the energy. You play Among Us, saying sus a lot. No, I don't. I haven't played Among Us yet. I just say sus because it's just a popular word that's like stuck in my head. But yeah, I don't. I don't play Among Us. I haven't played it yet. Um. Yeah, I haven't played Among Us yet. I do want to get into that maybe at some point. I don't know though. I don't really play that many video games outside just PDCGO and like a few games on P on PlayStation. ADP Dreadnought? Ooh, that actually might work. I think, well, honestly, one thing Dreadnought's missing is that extra 30 damage. What the? How did... Oh, Anchor. I was like, how the heck did he knock me out? Okay, um... Okay. I think we can win this, hopefully. That's all of our Dreadnoughts. Man, this deck does not like to draw very well, does it? Oh my goodness. Alright, we're gonna have to get rid of all our- we're gonna have to try to win with just one Dreadnought. We have three energy in the deck. We have to get one of our switching cards, too. I guess we could have brought in- nah, I think that's the fine. Okay, there we go. Uh, do I want to Marnie them, or should I just research? I think I just research and just say screw it. We're only gonna have the Dreadnought to attack with, but whatever. Ooh, we almost whipped the energy. You know, this is a bit of a yikes. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to have to try to win with one Dreadnought, which I think we can. Look at... See, look, bro. Look at these heads, bro. It's nuts. I keep getting heads with Dreadnought. It's insane. It's insane. All right. More supporters. Frostmoth. Okay. So we have game next turn, but I just knocked out the Egg Row. 
I made an expanded Archie Stoist deck. Nice. Archie's is good. Yo, Elliot, what's going on? Do you like the idea of an amazing rare Porygon Z deck when Vivid Voltage comes out? Yeah, probably. There's a lot of decks to try out. I right, dread not taking the dubs out here, boys. See, it's not a bad card. I really like Dreadnought a lot. If it sets up, it's actually pretty good. It also has 400 HP with buff padding and its ability. Probably AEP Waylord. <laughs> nah. I need to get a few Waylords. I have some trades up trying to get some Waylord Vs right now. Okay. Win the coin flip. Nice. I think I'm a champ. Clay? Ah, uh, Clay. That's actually a decent idea, Tyler. That is not a bad idea. But Machamp, I don't think I can still play on the ladder. It's, I think it's still banned. I, I actually, sh I still need to check the forms, actually, to see if anyone confirmed if it was actually banned or not. Not too sure on that one. I got a Charizard on PC Joe's night. Nice. Yeah, oh yeah, about the free pack. So apparently, PD's Pokemon sent out three free Champions Path codes in your newsletters. I have not gotten one yet. Which is very annoying. Um, I have not gotten my three codes. And I am signed up to the newsletter. I, I haven't gotten PC. You used to get monthly codes in the newsletter. I have not gotten my monthly codes in like five or six months. Or at least, no, not even that. Like probably like a year or so. Like I never get codes in the on my uh, newsletters anymore. So I don't really know what's going on there. Um, it is what it is. But yeah, I did not. I haven't gotten my three codes yet. It's kind of annoying too. Like bro, it's three free packs. And I have not gotten them. And I am signed up to the newsletter. I don't know why. Is it like a US thing? It's, I don't know why I haven't gotten them. But I, I see people like posting their polls and stuff on Discord and like on Reddit and stuff and Twitter. And I'm over here like, uh, where are they? I mean, okay, I have like 200 Champions Path codes right now. So I don't really need three, but it's like, bro, it's it's three. I can email you a code from a different account. I don't know if that's allowed, Aaron, but I mean, hey, if I don't get the codes, bro, it's like, it is what it is. Card of Legacy. My least favorite card in Legacy is probably Verzine Genesect as a deck. That deck is fast and annoying. Um, I'm trying to get Garbo Max worth Gengar Milotic. Oh, that's a decent idea. That's a decent idea. Check your spam, bro. My spam? Okay, let's see. Actually, I'll go on my phone and do it. I'll open up. Yeah, let's go on my phone. If you're not VMAX weak to water. I'm fine with the lightning weakness. I'm fine with that lightning weakness. I don't think it's that bad. Alright, it looks like we're going to have to deal with Whimsicott today, which is going to be uh, lots of fun. Alright, maybe I should have gone Crobat. Nah, we'll uh, we'll get NA. See? Well, maybe not. This hand sucks. <laughs> the return of the sus hands. I got bad reception. It's all good, Elliot. Alright, let's see this. Um, inbox. My main inbox, there is new letter from Pokemon. Okay. Flagged. No, nope, that's uh, not. There's junk. My junk email doesn't have anything either. Pikaram on this deck. Yeah, Pikaram would beat this, but we have weak guard. Yeah, I don't. I don't see anything. Not my Gmail. If Guard or Vmax gets out to my low tick, I throw the psych Pokemon. That is a lot of damage you can heal. Play with Inteleon? Nah, man, we're playing new decks today. Inteleon is a thing of the past. Yeah, it does, Sam. It's got a lot of HP. Actually, honestly, maybe I should have just switched into the Dreadnaw. Nah, I'm in top deck mode. Maybe not. Speaking of top deck mode, yeah, can I not be in top deck mode right now, game? That'd be great. Oh, he is down a lot of energy. All right, it's like impossible for him to one-shot Dreadnaw. This game will come down to how many uh, heads we get, though, with our attack and our... Uh... And this thing's annoying ability. <laughs> Actually, hopefully we can knock out the Zacian next turn. We need to draw something, though. Play Inteleon with Dreadnought? That uh, doesn't really... That doesn't seem like it's an ideal deck. There's, what, what's the point of playing Inteleon? I guess, like, to do extra damage. Like, set up damage for Dreadnought. But uh, just play Inteleon. Alright, looks like he's gonna play aggressive here. I actually wouldn't mind if he KO'd me so I can just bring in the Dreadnought and then pray I draw something. We have a good amount of votes to draw. So hopefully we draw out of this. I just emailed you the code. That'd be in my uh, business email then. Only 100 damage. Alright, can we draw something? Bro. Ugh. These draws, man. It's just not ideal. 
It's not ideal. Okay, let's check the Gmail. Okay, yeah, 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 see? Oh, yo, thank you, Aaron. Thank you. I do appreciate it, dude. My friend plays Cinder's VMAX. Okay. Hey, Fury, I know you probably don't have time, but Fury's gonna tweet your deck idea. Well, I haven't checked Twitter yet. I'll have to check after. What deck was it, though, Foxy? Hyper Potion, Rosal Volley. That could work, but actually, well, the new, the new uh, Suspicious Cans is better for the deck. Oh, I didn't realize he uh, Marnied me. Let's go. Okay, he's doing 160 damage. Yikes. If he knocks out my Dreadnought VMAX here, and we don't knock him out, we're in trouble. Right, let's see we draw. Okay. We're getting somewhere. I'm going to thin out one energy here, because we can uh, use it with energy retrieval to get it back. So engineers can be the next stall. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Alright, we got the sauce. We got the sauce. We need to uh, get lucky. We need to get two heads here to knock this thing out. Or, we need to get heads and a tails, technically, to KO this thing. I don't know if we can do that. Alright, here we go. Come on, Dredna. Okay. Okay, can we get tails? Boom! Let's go! Let's go! Get out of here! Get by! Bye. Peace! Bye-bye! Let's go. I'm, I'm just hyped, bro. When you when you get heads on the knockout on a Whimsicott, bro, you, you gotta get hyped. It's like, you can't just not. Suspicious needs Psychic Energy. Hyper Potion is for Dredna. Oh, for Dredna? Nah, I'd rather just play Maulon in here. I don't have Maulon in the deck, though, but that is something we could probably put in here. Oh, shoot! I didn't realize I didn't put the thing on loop. Okay, there we go. Sorry, the music cut off. I just don't want the, uh, the sound of my fan of my Mac getting picked up on my mic. It just sounds like trash. Galarian Cursor with Arctazolt. I can... Oh, okay. Yeah, we can We can maybe try that. New decks on Rotom Phone? I don't know, actually. I think the best way to play is with a Ranguru. It could be good with, like, maybe, like, a Decidueye or something. But even then, like, you just play Altaria. Play Arctazolt with Sableye V, Roxy, Weezing. Nah. I don't really want to play that Weez... Uh, I don't want really... I don't really want to play that Sableye, Roxy, Arctazolt deck. It's already been kind of done to death already. On YouTube, I don't really feel like it'd be worth making a video on. I don't really like doing videos on decks that have already been played a lot. You know, because what, what's the point of me uploading the video? You know, it's like, oh, you can already watch it every, anywhere else, you know. That's why I don't usually tend to do videos on competitive decks, right? Well, I'm not a competitive player. I kind of, well, I'm not, but I am, you know. I don't know if that made any sense. But I don't really like doing videos on competitive decks. Can you explain why that Suicune is so good? Um, it can deal with Decidueye and Altaria now. It can one-shot Altaria. He could KO me here if this guy gets a triple. Nope. How much is that? He's not even two-shotting me. That is insane. Oh my god. Dreadnought is actually busted. Okay. Um. How many bots do we have left? Two? I'm just going to use boss's order here. I mean, we don't even need Glimwood Tangle, bro. We just knock him out. Why Suicune over Black? Because Suicune's less energy. And it puts the energy back in your hand, so it gets knocked out, you can reuse it. That's why I'm using the Suicune. I shouldn't have played the Energy Retrieval, actually. That was kind of... That was definitely a misplay. I shouldn't have played that. For some reason, I thought we had Frost Moth in my hand. Yo, nice, Andreas. Play Waylord stall with Waylord V. Yo, Outcast, What's going on, bro? Video of New Obstagoon? Yeah, we can, we can try out the New Obstagoon. Oh, he's decked out, Kappa. He, has, he hasn't played a rod yet. I don't think he has one. That's going to be a well-played. Oh, he finally takes out the beast. Y'all say right now, that water gym leader in Sword and Shield, she is hard, bro. Because Dreadnought's so freaking bulky. And there's no, like, good types other than, like, Rillaboom. If you didn't start with uh, Grookey, you're kind of screwed. It's like, I don't know, man. It's kind of sus. Oh, I, I could have maybe just went for the attack to see if we get lucky again, but we don't need it. Legalized Live Singer's Trump card. Imagine. Oh, we get some packs to open up. And we can also uh, redeem those Champion's Path packs. I'm going to switch the camera real quick. 
so you guys can't see what I'm doing. We'll open up those uh, packs that we just got on the ladder. I'm just going to redeem these codes just to, just so you guys don't see them or anything, just in case. You never know. Wait, what? Oh, I have to recopy them. Okay, hold on. I have to recopy these codes. I think. Yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't get the newsletter, bro. It just, that sucks. I don't know why I didn't get it. I never get codes. I right, hold on, El Cast. I will in a minute. I see. I just seen your Discord message. Okay, hold on. Uh, Little Dark Fury. Here we go. Let's check it out. Yeah, thank you, Aaron, for the codes. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't get the monthly code or the whatever the codes. Yo, sorry. I. Uh... All right, let's see. Let's see. All right. Just so you guys can't see what I'm doing. All right, it worked, Aaron. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right, we are back. All right, now I can switch the screen back. To the okay. Thank you, Aaron, for the codes. I appreciate it. We'll open them up, actually. Do you want? Yeah, let's open them up. We, we got six packs to open. Misplay from LDF. Yo, indeed. All right, hold on a minute. I got to do some things real quick here. All right, there we go. Boom. Outcast, you are now a mod on the channel. All right. We got three packs to open up. Play Waylord ADP. I have to get Waylords first, though. I have no Waylord Vs. Maybe we'll pull them. We're going to open up three packs here, so maybe we can pull a Waylord out of those three packs. All right, let's get an Eternatus here, folks. Or a Crobat Fuller. Try. Yeah, I'll try that, Pokezod. We're going to try We're going to play the two Maxes first. Dreadnought is Rock and VGC. I'd, yeah, I probably... Re Bro, back-to-back -back Melmetals? What do you mean? Okay, time to open up three packs of Champions Pack. Oh, they're locked. I didn't realize they were locked. That's interesting. Use code LDF. Indeed, if you guys get any codes, use code LDF. Is this locked? It is locked. And we got a Galarian Kursla. All right. Slumbering Forest with Venusaur V. Yeah, we can try that. We can also play with, like, Parasect, maybe. Scrafty. I'm playing free to play and won't get Champions Pack. How much are Arctozone? Kursla is, like, really cheap. Cursal's really cheap. Get a Hatterene. All right, at least we got a, we got a, actually, I like that reverse health swallow. That's a pretty good pull. All right, thank you, Aaron. All right, uh, let's, let's play the uh, Gardevoir deck. What decks are you trying to build today? Well, I just want to play a bunch of decks, okay? So I, we're going to try out Gardevoir now. Um, I do have, like, Waylord V trades up and stuff like that. I want to build Waylord V, Lucario V, pretty much just all the Vs, you know? All right, where is this Gardevoir? What did I name it? Is there a Rose Gardevoir? Okay, we need to we need to favorite the decks. When's the Scrafty deck? That'll be at some point. Big Pimpin. All right, where is it? Gardevoir Rose. Parasect Confusion. You're, oh, I thought yeah. For some reason, I just thought that card just confused the opponent. Glossopod Crabominable. Nah, that's not a Champions Path deck though. Yeah, I want to do Waylord V as well. Yeah, Waylord V looks fun. It does look fun. Is Duraludon V good? It's okay. I actually pulled another one recently too, out of a few packs I opened up before the stream. I pulled another Shiny Charizard. Go figure. Um, we can build Duraludon. I think I need one more. Would you say Champions Path Packs are worth more than Dab? Oh yeah, right now for sure, dude. Right now, Bobo. Because the set isn't easy to get. I don't know which pack. I don't know if it's 2 to 1 or 3 to 1 right now. I'm not too sure on that. I did trade 30 pack Champions Pathos for a Darkness Blaze pack. I don't know if it was worth it to do that or not. Or not a Darkness Blaze pack, for a Darkness Energy. Secret Dark Energy. It was 30 Champions Path for Dark Energy, which I think is worth it. Obviously, that's going to be value in the long run. But at that moment in time, I don't know if that was actually worth it. I didn't know Dark Energy dropped. Because then I saw it was going up for 82 Darkness Blaze. I'm like, dude, I thought Secret Dark Energy was still like around 100 packs. So I was like a little upset, but I think we're okay. We can lower the background music. Yeah, all right. I'll uh, lower it a bit. I just wanted it to be a bit loud. Not, like, super loud. I just wanted to kind of block out any background noise. I did order these off Amazon. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. Let me just make sure my mic is still connected. Yeah, we good. Okay. I did order these on Amazon. These are, like, those things you put on the wall, the sound foam things. But I'm going to put those on the wall when I move into my new house at the end of October. Because there's no point of putting them on now. Because I'm moving. So there's, like, literally no point of cleaning my house. All right. Uh, we'll see if Gardevoir lives here. 
Do a Steelix V deck? Did that come out in uh did, did Steelix V come out in Champions Path? I think it's worth alright. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. I didn't want to like what the heck is this? I'm <laughs> blowing smoke. Yeah, I, I just wanted to make sure we uh 30 I mean 30 packs is still good value. Once Champions Path decreases value like next week, it's like that trade was hundred percent worth it. Oh, I just realized something. Um my webcam border is not matched up with my webcam. There we go. So I saw my, yeah, my webcam border. Okay, I think we're good. My webcam border was like not fully on my webcam for a second. It looked weird. Um, all right, here we go, Marnie. Hopefully he doesn't get a welder two energy off this, but he will tap W. Yeah, Steel V didn't come out, so can't play it. Go Crobat, Air Balloon, Calm the Crobat for a Silvali GX. Oh yeah, it'll definitely crash. Hidden Fates like crash too. Hidden Fates used to be like really expensive back then, especially all the shinies, and then like it just it plummeted in value. Now F Hidden Fates is now like one of the cheapest uh, packs out there in terms of codes. Um, there's no need to hit him, so I think we just evolve and pass. What we can do next turn if he attacks me. We can heal with the Suspicious Food Tin, and then we can Rose. That seems pretty busted. Yo, Damon with the $5 donation. Yo, I appreciate it, dude. Thanks for being a part of my daily routine, man. Yo, thank you for the donation, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What the? This guy put a Light Energy on. Yeah. Thank you, Damon. I do appreciate the donation a lot, man, guy. All right. So let's just go here. I'm just going to hold the hand, honestly. But yeah, thank you, Damon. Thank you. Thank you, bro, for the donation. Max cure, 180 damage, and then we get to heal 50. Then he's gonna hit me with Flare Strike, and then we're gonna Viridian, Suspicious Can. But yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, bro. Yes, sir. Damon coming to clutch indeed. Yo, Weird Awesomeness, how you doing? 100 people watching, make sure you all sub. Yes, if you're not sub to the channel, make sure to do so, bro. What are you doing? Um. Okay, that was an easy match. Don't really know what's going on there. I mean, the deck played pretty well. We had a good setup there. You think Gardevoir could work with Milotic? I think it does, yeah. You just have to figure out a way to build up Gardevoir quick enough. You can play Rose, but then you have to play Rose Tower. I guess you go like four Rose, four Rose Tower. Love your videos. Yo, I appreciate it, LPS Fur. Appreciate it. Dreadnought is a uh, better type than Gardevoir. It does. I really, did, I wish Gardevoir didn't have that annoying metal weakness. Because it's like the worst weakness you could get. How old are you since I'm in college? I am 22 years old. I don't look 22, but I am. Do you think Decidueye is good pulse rotation? Well, it is pulse rotation, and I think it's I think it's okay. It's good, but like because Altaria is out now, it's not as good. Um, ooh, that was a good top deck. Actually, we maybe should have just did Denade. Nah, I don't know. Uh, Gardevoir doesn't have resistance to dark anymore? Bro, are you serious? Bro, that's actually sus. Just pretend Zacian is Amazentodonic. Exactly. Exactly. Uh oh, this man's got. Actually, I don't care. We have Rose. Oh, he's got two. He gets heads. Every. Bro. Everyone just plays Hammer in their deck now. It's like, alright, let's just play four Hammers in our deck for no reason at all. A little snot nosed brat. Haha. <laughs> yeah, remember? I, I think I sold. I think I sent like a picture of myself in like Outcast Discord or Outcast stream once. It was like a selfie I took. It was like from like 2013 or something. How many packs do you think Smeargle from Call of Legends are worth? Uh, well, the Propagation Execute is cheap. It's only like probably like two packs. Or wait, not even a pack for one. But the Secret Air is like 30 packs almost, I think. Or maybe even more than 30 packs. Smeargle is probably around like 10 to 11 packs. I don't know. I don't know Smeargle's value exactly. The Reverse Hollow is probably around 20 packs for the Smeargle. I'm actually trying to get another Reverse Hollow Vile Plume from Undaunted, but uh, I'm having no luck so far. Okay, let's uh, just Dead A change, I think. Alright, we're looking for a Viridian Rose Silvali Gardevoir VMAX. Yeah, that wasn't going to be happening, was it? How's everything here with COVID? It's the... Uh, we've been get Bro, what are these hands? <laughs> The cases have been spiking up, unfortunately. The cases have been indeed spiking up. Um, 
But where I live, a lot of the cases are in like Toronto and um, other places. Yo, enough with the hammers, bro. And he gets heads. I mean, what do I even say to that? He's got hop, bro. Oh, I'm gonna lose to an Eternatus hop deck because I'm drawing poorly. Hammers are a good counter to it. They are, but they're also one of the most annoying things on the planet. I'd see you, Elliot. Thanks for by. But yeah, COVID, it's getting a little bad here again. It's not like insanely, it's not like we're over a thousand new cases, but like the cases are rising every day. The busted hop. Bro, we're getting bodied by hop. I think Dreadnought VMAX is good. 370 HP with buff padding. I, well, Michael, we just played Dreadnought and it, uh, it's pretty good. Thanks to LDF, I don't have to open my unlock packs like a dummy. Exactly. Never open your unlock packs, it's not worth it. Be safe, dude. I'll try. Do you have a Decidueye and Teleon post-rotation deck? I do not right now. I have. I don't know if that's any good. Decidueye up to Goon just seems to be the way to play Decidueye right now. Alright, what do we draw? We're not going to be able to do the Rose this turn, so it's not even worth it. It's not worth it. I mean, we could evolve and then boss the Crobat. Hope he doesn't have another switch. I think I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna Marnie. Yeah, I'm just gonna Marnie. Which hopefully, get Sovali Gardevoir. I don't know. We need to find a Sovali though. Okay, we got a Sovali. We need to get another Gardevoir V down though. Hopefully, we can find one off this. I mean, we could evolve into the V Max, but I don't know. He's gonna knock me out if we do that. It's not worth it. All right, Gardevoir one time. Bruh. Hmm. Not much I can do. Just gonna attach that to Dene and pass just in case we have to retreat. How do you sign up for monthly codes? I don't know. I think you just have to have like a Pokemon play Pokemon account or something. You think Eternatus is still meta? Oh yeah, it's still like the best deck. Or one of the best. Well, that's what they're trying to do, SD. They're trying to they're trying to lowball with the with the packs. Ooh, okay, that actually could be good if we can get a. Um, maybe he's gonna knock me out, right? Yeah, never mind. I was thinking we could get a rose combo, but he's gonna knock me out. Yeah, okay, that's fine. This hand's fine. We're gonna have to probably check for his technical. I hope he doesn't have a boss. He's only played one so far. He's played none. Oh my gosh. I haven't been on pubs a lot recently though. I'd say turns tier 1.5. No, I think it's tier 1, 100%. It's not, a, I don't know if it's just, like ADP might be the best deck, but Turnus is like still good. Yes, I do, Jensen. I think PDCGO needs a huge update. Okay, double Gardevoir's good in case we get bossed. He probably has boss in his hand though, so this play at the end of the day, it probably doesn't matter. I mean, we didn't even get a Gardevoir Max Rose. So I don't know what to tell you. Yo, ADVGYM, what's going on, bro? How you doing? Imagine turn one hex pass in today's meta. That would be OP. Is a new set available in the next zombie matches? I actually don't know. I have to, I actually have to, I, I'm pretty sure it is. I know they said it somewhere, but I'm too lazy to read. I'll ask, I'll ask in the Discord, because I actually would be interested in playing a few, uh, a few new decks against uh, people. Do so you have gem promos and vivid deck boxes? Well, I have them locked, but I do have a few, I have a few, uh, rare stuff like the charizard outfit is technically a gem item because you can only get this through a gem thing right all right if this guy doesn't get a boss here i'm gonna be very surprised there's no way he's not gonna find a boss well he's only drawing three cards but he probably already has it in his hand we need a shuffle draw border yeah i i personally think marnie shouldn't shuffle cards back into your deck i i know sorry bottom i think marnie should oh okay i'm fine with this i think marnie should honestly not do the shuffle in your deck i think no i think marnie should shuffle cards in your deck what am i saying i think it should be like judge bro bad hands or bad hands i personally hate marnie i i hate how marnie puts the cards to the bottom of your deck i really wish marnie just shuffled like it would be so much more balanced what deck are you doing tomorrow this is the last time i'm asking oh guard for vmax is gonna be tomorrow's video Vivid Voltage Charizard is good. Yeah, it is looking pretty good. That definitely is going to be a good theme deck. Uh, 
Um, but I guess we gotta get rid of this. So we need to get a Rose, Gardevoir, VMAX, Energy, Viridian Forest, and... I mean, it's not looking for a lot. We can get that. I should've played the Viridian early. I just didn't want to give him a free energy. Bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, the sus hands are back. All right, we're probably just gonna concede this. I don't think we're winning this. Yeah, that's gonna be conceded for me. LDF getting sauced by bad turn spill. That's, I know, it's upsetting. Okay, so fortunately, guys, I cannot accept. I'm not. Be I'm not accepting any friend requests at this time because I need my friends list to be open for tournaments and for the Omnipoke League. The BHM deck you made yesterday flopped. Hmm. I mean, maybe our course should go in there. We can play that after. We can play that after. Is that draw three from bottom still in standard? No. Looker rotated. Looker was from Ultra Prism. Uh, tomorrow is going to be my Dreadnought video. I guess we lose into the hop, bro. I the full art hops actually in Champions Pass. Hey, LDFs, want to say I love the content. My wife and I watch you all the time. You are after work entertainment. Yo, thank you, Nika Knight. I appreciate it. I'm glad I can entertain. All right, I will be right back. I need to go to the bathroom. All right, we back. Just went out, got a pop while I was at it. Why is John Cena in LDF's chair? Dark Fairy got crushing hammered. Indeed, I did. All right, we back, though. Good luck with the OPOP League. Thank you, Pokey Zod. All right, let's get into some more matches here. The riot. Yo, man's all rioted, bro. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Nah, we chillin'. Yeah, I saw your I saw your Sunfist deck, Landon. I will try that. I will try that one day. Um, but well, I gotta do some James Path content first. Okay, man conceded. We had a bad hand too. 
How much is your whole account worth, you think? Probably like, I don't know, like, maybe like 15k packs, possibly even more, I don't know. I would take like hours of math. I can say this, the Charizard outfit is already worth like 3k pack, or like, yeah, 3k, 5k, well, I don't even, yeah, it's somewhere around there. The, the Charizard outfit's worth a lot. You think the Sijuai Goons has a chance to be Baby Blounds? Well, if you get the ops to goon up, you pretty much auto win the matchup, yeah. I would play Guardy without VMAX and with Futin. But Gardevoir V just doesn't really cut it. The VMAX just heals more damage. Okay, Corviknight, scoop up Stunfist V. That's cool. I'm cheering for you both in Purple Cliff because you can't decide and can't cheer for more than two. <laughs> I appreciate it, bro. Thank you for the, uh, for the, uh, support. All right, looks like we are recognized. But yeah, I won my first match in the, uh, in the, uh, in the thing against Celio. I won my first round thing, so that's pretty cool. Mm, what the, f bro? Oh my god, just put pop on me, bro. Why did so much, oh my gosh, dog, bro. I just took a sip and I just got pop all over me. All right, all right. I see how it's gonna be today. Ah, dang it, dude. Bro, I'm just trying to enjoy some pop over here. I gotta, hold on. I gotta clean my chair, dude. Oh my goodness. The pop spilling. The pop spilling is real. Alright, rip in the chat. Alright, uh, looks like we're playing against Scorch. Drink. Bro, I'm telling you, the pop is OP. And I got pop over my shirt, too. And this shirt's like, I can't really, you, you can't wash it properly. Okay. Um, uh, I think I'm just going to go here. I'm probably going to evolve the bench Gardevoir now. With the active get hit. I want a Marnie. What was your first live stream? <laughs> it's like in 2017. It's been like three years. It's been over three years. It was like in uh, February 2017. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since I streamed. Since my first stream. Okay, um. I think I'm just gonna dead A change here. You live in Boston? Nah, I'm, I'm in Canada. Your pog draws were so unlucky. Oh, I know. I still have nightmares about how bad my draws were. I still have nightmares from that tournament. My draws were not very good. What do you mean code, Airy? I, I ain't giving you no codes. I don't have any codes. It's amazing to see how rich people are. I've just been playing this game for so long. I've just accumulated a lot of packs and like a lot of cards over time. But uh, it is cool to have all the bling and stuff. It is cool. I'm gonna change the song here. I'm sure you guys are really sick of hearing this. Um, let's put on the Kanto Battle Remix. I don't know if we can beat this, to be honest. The Senna Scorch is too, uh, too tanky and uh, not very good draws either. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Our draws have been kind of bad this game too. We need to get a Silvali. Corver VMAX, Senna Scorch VMAX, is fa yeah, it is favored. Well, they can just one-shot me. We don't even get to heal. Ugh, I hate to Marnie them, but I kind of have to. We need to get a Silvali. Okay, Silvali, where are you at? Where are you at? I mean, we can actually get the first hit on the Senna Scorch next turn, which is good. Assuming he doesn't have a boss, but he is down one boss. No, he isn't. Okay, I thought he was. I've been playing PCGO since XY Base. I've been playing PCGO since XY Base 2, pretty much. Around that time is when I kind of got into it. But I've been playing the TCG for longer. I took like a... Like a, a year and a half break of... Uh, PD, on, uh, of the TCG in general. And then I got back in... And I got back in around 2013. Alright, we can boss up the Sunny here. And hope he doesn't knock me out in one hit. Okay, um... Game... You want to explain to me where my Sovalis are?
Where are they at, though? I don't know if we can uh, win this. Or we can two-shot this. We don't have another boss, though. So we, he can probably retreat and back in a Vulk and then knock me out with this after. He might just one-shot me here. I don't know how much energy he needs, but actually we have 350 HP. I mean, we can heal a lot of the damage he does next turn. So that is thing. Yep. Oh, the big charm. Yo, let's go. The most clutch big charm on the planet. Uh, he just bodies me with Heat Ram, but I guess it's better than him knocking me out Volk. So I think we make him knock me out Volk. Still, though, um, it would be nice if I could draw a uh, Silvali here in game. It'd be very nice if I could draw a Silvali. 100 people? Yes, sir. We got 100 people. Right, so we have 160 HP. So he has to go Heat Ram to kill me here. Okay, let's see our prizes. What are we looking at? Energy... Okay, there's a Silvali. About time. And next turn, we can sacrifice Type Null and then hope that Garvar doesn't get knocked out by boss. And then we can Rose into another VMAX. XY is my favorite region. Yeah, XY is pretty cool. Should we get a Focus Band tool? Let's use 5 damage. That'd be, that'd be good for fighting decks, though, for sure. For sure, for sure. Oh. If he doesn't get a switch here, that heat ran is not knocking me out. Well, he's only played one switch. Yeah, there it is. Dang it, bro. I was actually kind of confident we would live. Now, he has to hot burn me here. So, he has to waste his Jex attack on me, which is really good. My goal is to get Thunder Sleeves and the Fossils. Good luck with the Fossils. Unless you're... The Fossils, I know people who do have them. They are... That, that was not easy to get. The Fossils are very, very expensive. The fossils, I think, are the most expensive slash rare item. They might not be as expensive as Victini Vivids in theory, but they are technically the rarest item on PDCGO. Like, they're the ones that are the hardest to get out of any item. Um. Oh. We only have one prize. I didn't even realize. Um. Okay, we have to do this then. Ah, uh, did I bench that type null? I can't remember if I benched the type null or not. Nope, I didn't. Okay. We need to get a reset stamp so we can make sure he doesn't get that boss. I missed last night's stream, but today I'm on. Nice, Tushar. Glad you can make it. Alright, reset stamp one time. No! Uh, no, we didn't get the Garvor VMAX back either. Oh my gosh. This is a disaster. We probably just lose here. I thought we actually could have won this because of the uh, knockout on the Senny, but... Yeah, he just has boss. Wait, what? He doesn't bring in the... Why? Wait. Oh, I guess he can't knock anything out. Never mind, I forgot we evolved. What am I saying? Okay, we need to draw Garbar VMAX here or else we lose. Dang it. I mean, I guess we can like tank a few hits. There's a stamp. We're out of buckets though. Hmm. We have one Maulana. I'm gonna wait to stamp him, I think, right? Or do we just wanna do it now? Watch everything you upload. Yo, I appreciate it, King. Thank you. Okay, big charm. Hmm. I think we'll wait to stamp him. I wanna get a Maulana here. I think Maulana's gonna be huge. There we go, okay. All right, next turn, we can heal. What do you think about this new the new Charizard? Well, the new Charizard coming out of Vivid Voltage is looking pretty good. This could be a close one. I don't know if we can win this, though, to be honest. It's not looking easy. It's not looking... I guess we should have kept the... I don't know if I want to keep the energy or not. It might not have been worth it. Alright, here we go. Hope this stamp to one sticks. So all we can do. Look at that healing though. We might make a comeback here though. We have uh, 260 HP, so we might make a comeback. 
But if he has like a Cramorant, but we did stamp him the one, right? And he's pretty low on energy. We might actually win this, guys. Holy comeback. What are good cards to flip right now for packs? Probably Crobat V. Crobat V is pretty good right now. Yeah, hopefully we can win this. He can't one-shot me with this. The only way he can win is by going... I don't know, actually. He has to go double V. There's no way... I don't think there's any attacker he can do 160 damage with. Oh, I thought he was going to boss up the Silvali GX. I should have kept that air balloon, though, in all honesty. That was definitely a misplay. All right, we've won the game. I don't think he can win here. Let's go, bro. What a comeback. What a game, bro. That was a good match. Holy cow. GG's. That was a really good match. Nice, nice, nice. Devo Spray Z can do some sneaky healing. Is Devo Spray V still legal? Didn't that come out on Broken Bonds? That was a good game. That was a really good match. Ooh, did Trey go through on pubs? A friend request? Guys, I know. I can't accept friend requests today. Right, I'm, let's open up an HGSS pack from the shop. I'm, I've been opening up a lot of HGSS base set packs. I'm trying to pull like any like reverse hollow stuff I can pull. I'm still looking for a few primes. Um, I want to get more foul. I want to get one more Fraligator Prime here so that I can make a Fraligator Prime video. Buy Crobat for stuff. Yeah, exactly. You can you can flip Crobat like that. All right, double rare. It's probably gonna be a prime. Oh, non fan. Not bad. I mean, we got a full playset lock now. That's not bad. Have you tried the new Waylord? I have not, because I don't have any Waylords. All right, let's go. Let's play a couple games with Dreadnought again, or well, at least one game with Dreadnought, and then we'll uh, we'll play something else after. The Gardevoir deck played pretty well there. Spray Z, yeah, Legendary would be cool. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll try. Some, we'll play some Dreadnought, and then we'll uh, we'll switch over. Dreadnought is fun to play though. I bet like. Despite some bad starts we've been getting with this deck, but uh, the deck is really fun. I think Dreadnought might be the best VMAX out of the new VMAXs, to be honest. Because it's not weak to metal. It doesn't have that awful, awful weakness. Go here, I guess? I don't know, actually. That was the right call. Play Cursula V. Oh, yeah. Now we can build that after. His hand is huge. We gotta Marnie him. What is he playing though? Is he playing Ops to Goon? Oh, he's playing Eternatus. We'll see if he's playing the new Goon. Alright. Yo, Aerie, man. If you ask for a code one more time, I'm gonna have to uh, mute you from the channel. Because it is getting annoying. I'm not giving you any codes, bro. I'm sorry. It's like I don't have any codes. I, I don't, I'm not giving you anything for free, bro. When everything is bling, ye. I need to get more fuller dreadnoughts, but like I was so desperate, I was like, I right, just give me give me whatever artwork, I don't really care. Yo, Nielsen, how you doing? Alright, let's go with I guess we maybe we should air balloon the Well, we don't need the sweet coom, I should have maybe air ballooned it. Okay. Yo, Crobat here. Okay, um, I actually kind of want to keep Suicune alive because 130 followed by a heads with Dreadnought can two shot an Eternatus, and that's really good when you swing the prize trade with a one prizer. But I don't want to switch anything, so I actually think I just pass and just let him knock out the Suicune. He can't one shot, he can never one shot Dreadnought. He can never one shot Dreadnought. How do you get so many gold cards on PCGO? Just saving up and uh, grinding and uh, flipping knowing values and stuff. Be a lot a lot of trade snipes I do. Like I, I put up a lot of trades on pubs where like I'm underpaying for the card and when they go through it's like really high because you make bad profit. Why would you give something f exactly? Yeah, sorry, man, Aerie, Like if I gotta mute, I gotta uh, hit you with that. Uh, I gotta hit you with a timeout, bro. I'm not giving any codes away, bro. I'm not. Well, I'm not, no, I'm not giving anything for free. Oh, holy top deck. Yeah, I'm not giving away anything for free, man. I'm sorry. It's just not happening. If I do a giveaway, you can enter it, maybe. But other than that, no giveaways. Okay, we didn't get Glimwood Tangle. We could De Dene. I mean, we just need to go one heads and we're fine. So it doesn't really matter, right? I mean, we're just going to get heads anyways, right? Because Dreadnought is rigged. 
All right, if he doesn't get anything good here, we might actually just two. He might. He can't even two shot me. Please play Curse of V. All right, we can play it. We can build it after this. After this game, I guess. Pokey so. How do you grind? You just play the ladder, get tourney tickets, play tournaments, win packs from tournaments, turn those packs into flips. It can be a slow process. At 1 billion likes, we show you in 5 minutes. You see code? Yeah, we had a billion likes, guys. I'll give away a code. Alright, Dreaden, 120. Yeah, he's not even too... Bro, we're bulky. We maybe want to put a Malon in here, in all honesty. I wouldn't mind maybe playing a Malon or two. Busted deck. Dreadnought, man, I'm having way more success with Dreadnought than I am with any other of the new VMAXs. That's saying something. That is saying something. I, uh, sorry, man, I gotta I gotta decline the friend request Ironwood if you're watching. I do not I cannot be accepting a friend request right now. Alright, let's build this pack. Let's build this curse light deck. The packs here from tournaments aren't locked. No, they're not. They're trade locked. They're tradable. Dread and Dreadnought. That's the Dreadnought is the superior card for sure. All right, what am I googling? Or what am I look cursor? I mean, do you have a list pokies out of this deck? You have a list? Oh, I need to get more promos of Arctizol. Hmm, whatever. I need to step up the bling, man. I need. To, I still need to get some uh, stuff. All right, whatever. We're all Gucci. All right, so let's put the staples in the deck first. Four rare can four rare fossil. Grap locked. I need I think I need one more grap lock to build that deck. Play Machamp. Unfortunately, weird awesomeness Machamp. I think it doesn't work in standard. It's like glitch him. It won't like it won't it won't be playable. Yes, Zach, I was just playing Gardevoir VMAX on stream with Rose, and it was actually decent. It wasn't um, I mean that comeback against Sense Scorch was that that was a great game against Sense Scorch. Are you Dreadnoughts tradable? Yeah, they are, but uh I'm not I'm, they're not for trade. They're not for trade. Do you think the situation is good with Altaria? Well, I think it'd be better to swap with Opposite Goon. You have to play Shifty with Piers. Yeah, Machamp, it's like bugged right now. Like, it, it's it's kind of like banned or whatever. It's weird. So Machamp, you literally can't play unless you do a friend battle unlimited. You can build Duraludon after. Yes, yeah. Oh, no, I actually have enough Grapple. Okay, we can build Grapple Lock too. You might need, yeah, I think Jirachi needs to go in here just so we can uh, dig for Rare Fossil. We can probably put a couple bats in here, too. We can put a bat in a Dedene. What about maybe, like, or now or Corio kind of sus? What other attacker should we play? Should we play any more attackers? All right, let's put the, let's put the simple stuff. All right, I want to play some weak guard energies. Maybe even three, because we are weak. Well, I guess, like, no matter what, this thing's getting destroyed, right? I mean, a turn just always destroys you. So we can play, like, two weak guards. So you don't lose yeah, I think we just play one of one. How many packs do you open a champion's path? I think around like maybe a hundred in total. Sableye? Nah. Play hammers. Yeah, that's a good point. Gotta play the we can play Yelgrun. Some time of suspicion. Wonders Labyrinth. Yeah, Lab could be pretty decent. What other stadium should we play? Tins? Eh, I don't know if we need the tin in here. Because Kersal's not even that tanky to begin with. I don't think it's needed. Let's just put... We can put some Psyche. We can play other attackers, though, too. That's the other thing with this deck. Marnie? Yeah, yeah. We definitely need to play... We need to play the, the cheesy Marnies. The bottom of your deck. Hyper Potion? Nah, I don't, we don't need healing in here. Sableye would be fine, but we don't have any uh, dark energy, so it's, I don't think we need Sableye in here. You don't need many energy. Well, I, I, we do want to be attacking with Curse though, right? We still want to get some damage on, right? So I think we want to play like at least nine energy. Ringing bells. Zangu's cosmic budget, maybe. Try and rotate it, Tylord. I think it's throwing your opponents. I can't play it. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know what else to put in here. We need some ball searches. We need some quickies. Psychic blounds. 
eh, I don't know if we need Psychic Blounts, because ideally the two Curse Laws, I mean, I don't know if we need Psychic Blounts. We could play a few Bird Keepers, right? We need some switches in here. Uh, we can play a Rod. Sigilift for Decidueye? Mmm. Yeah. I don't know if Sigil's the best one. Uh, Shuckle's rotated. Shuckle at GX is rotated, guys. Oh, really? Let's let's see this. Let's see this in Cinderella. Bell and Capes? How many of each? I don't see anything uh, with the Incineroar. OPC? Nah, OPC is not very good. Nah, I don't think we need Maulana. Roxy Coughing? Nah, I don't think we need the Roxy Engine. We could probably play a few researches, though. Gengar Mimikyu? Yo, Nathan, how you doing? All right, we can play two capes. We can go two capes, two bells. I like that. We'll play like one air balloon too for like Arctazolt. Mew? Oh yeah, yeah, we should put Mew in here. That's another one. Tina Clefable? I don't know if there's room for that. Dear Tina? Yeah, Giratina's probably good. We'd have to play Scoop of Ned then. So we can go like three switch. Three switch. Ah, oh, we don't have enough room. Uh, maybe we should. Mm, I really like the idea. We can play. Uh, I don't know what the heck to do. Merge this deck with a Mewtwo. Nah, I don't know if we need Galarian Cursula, the normal one. Yeah, we got the fossils in here. That's not a bad idea either, but I, we don't need to play that fast though with the Coco Prism. Giant Bomb, nah. Could you make a video on how to snipe? I do have a video on how to snipe, my uh, Get Richer video. That was a uh, merge with, nah, we don't need merge with me three. I do want to play like a Psychic Attacker in here though, especially for the Decidueye matchup or something. But I don't know what to play. I guess like, I don't know. I didn't know what to play. I have any Pokecoms in here too. It's, bit, it's kind of tight on space, to be honest. It's a little tight on space. E Raider? Nah, E Raider is not very good. We can go like one E Ringing Bell. I don't know if we really need two. To be honest, I think one would be fine. Yeah, you can go five grass, four roars. Baby Blown. Alright, if you got y'all are saying Blown, we'll play it. We will play the Blown. Alright, we have 61 cards. We can I guess we can go like cut the energy down a little bit. We can Maybe we, we can just play one bird keeper? I don't know. Oh we have oh. Look at that. Alright, let's try this. Let's try this. Yo, Mika, how you doing? How you doing? Welcome to the live stream. All right, Viridian. No, we don't need Viridian. I do want to play maybe another stadium to go with the uh, Wondrous Labyrinth, though. Guzmahala? That's okay. Yo, Terry, how's it going? The glitch only works in collection? Oh, okay. All right, let's try this. All right, we'll see this glitch for a quick sec. Oh, what the heck? You're right. Huh. <laughs> Incinero evolves into Rampardos. Yo, that's actually insane. Oh, I forgot to favor the deck. Spike Mouth? Yeah, that'd be okay, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna favorite all of my, uh... I'm gonna favorite all of my, uh, new decks I built here. We'll build, we'll, we'll grapple locked after. 
I've been watching lots of your old videos, loving the new ones. Yo, thank you, Terry. I appreciate it. I don't think we need giant bomb height. I don't think it's needed. I think cape should be fine. I mean, we could try giant bomb, I guess. I don't know. I've tried keep shore, wheezing, splattering sludge. In expanded, that'd be good. Could Vika be good in expanded? Yeah, I think Vika Bolt is good in expanded. I think I posted a video on that on my Patreon. How long does it take for you to test and build the decks for your videos? Well, I don't usually test too much. I usually just do a bunch of, like, random battles to see how the deck plays, and then I edit what could be changed. Yo, we're up against the Machamp Excadrill deck. So that means Machamp is finally playable. They fixed the bug. Yeah, it looks like they did. But I just don't have a lot of time to always be... Every every deck, like I upload every day, I don't have all the time in the world. I'm gonna hold the hand. I don't have all the time in the world to be constantly fixing my decks and stuff. I just don't have all that. I, like, test every single deck would take me hours upon hours to perfect. And it takes way too long to do. I don't have the time to do that. Alright, rip Crobat. But if we play Swallow, though, then we have to worry about Wonders Lab not working. Yeah, looks like they fixed him a champ bug here. Ooh. This could be busted. We're weak to dark. We have actually resistance to fighting, which is pretty cool. Venusaur. Gigantamax looks so stupid. <laughs> I'm building that deck. We can play Machamp. If I have a Machamp deck built, I just couldn't play it yesterday because PC Joe's bugged. Aw, oh, he hit more Pokemon. Rip. What do you think of Vikavolt Amoongus? It looks okay. Vigavolt's main issue, though, is it just doesn't do a lot of damage. Right, I'm gonna play that down. Whatever, let's, let's just play it down. YOLO. Okay, we didn't get a, uh... Didn't get much. But we don't get one shot by the extra drill, so I think we can just pass. The energy whip kind of sucks. Didn't realize we were playing. Oh, shoot, that's you, Brandon? Alright, man. If you don't want to stream snipe, I appreciate it, but... It's only a friendly battle. It's not too bad. I'm gonna change the song again here. Go from the Kanto Battle Remix to uh, the Hoenn Gym Leader Remix. Oh, whoops. All right, let me get that off screen. Alright. This is a pretty... Mm, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. And the Machoke... Oh, that took 50 damage from the arc. That's busted. Yo, this deck's sick. Bead theme? What do you mean? Oh, the bead theme? I don't I don't think I have that uh, from Glitch City. I don't know if that's been posted yet. I haven't updated the playlist in a little bit. Okay, there's a rod. The new Machoke is pretty dope. What does this do? Damn. That artwork's pretty nice. That artwork is pretty nice. You're right, Outcast. Change into Goldenrod? I don't know if there's any uh, things for that, though, on Glitch City. That's the only problem. Alright, let's see what we draw. Energy for the attack? Okay. Well, um... My other alternative could be... Uh, to boss something here. I just get another Arc Dissolve. I guess we could just corner him, but we'll get knocked out. It's the only problem. Then we can't attack with the other Cursula. Nah, we'll do it. Whatever. Like, honestly, I don't mind doing boss's order on, like, the Dedenne and trapping it. Show the Gardevoir deck list? Yeah, I can show it after if you want. That was a cute wallpaper. <laughs> that was... The, I don't know why that image popped up when I uh, put on the song. Alright, was for research, I guess. We'll attack him. We'll try to get Crushing Hammer. No, we didn't get a crushing hammer. Rip in the chat. Rips in the chat. I actually, I think Turbo Patch could be pretty good in here. I mean, we need the horror energy, but I kind of like the idea of maybe playing Turbo Patch. Um, I guess we'll just hit a Drillbur. I don't really think we need to hit the uh, hit the Machoke at all because we can one shot it. Just weak to psychic. And maybe we'll see Megas come back. You never know. We'll see what happens. 
Was that him? Yeah, I think it was like the album art image. Ooh, he knocks himself out. Bro, it's busted. Ooh, we got a yell grunt. Okay, that's good. Maybe we should have put 30 damage here. I don't know. This deck's actually pretty sick. Maybe this deck could play like a Zigzagoon or something. One way we could honestly win is by maybe trapping something. He could, we can deck him out by stalling. Should we play? Should we munchlax the hammers? I mean, we could play this deck like a stall deck, but I don't know. I mean, we still should attack, right? I feel like there's nothing wrong with attacking. I just noticed here he made the Arceus coin. Yeah, I the Arceus coin looks sick. Oh, I forgot to put the Toadel coin on. All right, whatever. This still this coin still looks sick though. Is Gengar creep show with Roxy good and expanded? I mean, in theory, it could be good. It might be better with, like, Zigzagoon scoop-up nets. Maybe we'll do a video on that update again, our creep show before Vivid Voltage comes out. Maybe when the content kind of dries up a little bit. Ooh, that raw discard is huge. What's the cheapest way to get a legacy deck for a new player? Um, well, Triumphant is the best set to buy packs from. So definitely you want to get your packs from Triumphant. All right, Crushing Hammer. We got a triple arc dissolve set up here. We just get bodied by Machamp. It's the only problem with this. If we get heads here, maybe we'll be chilling. Okay. We can yell grunt to remove all that energy. I don't really want to Marnie him. His hand is huge. Yeah, I think I just do this. I'll play the Rod too. I want to get back, um, get back Crobat and get back two energy. Yeah, it works. That was a pretty good turn. We got lucky with those hammer flips. What's more broken, hammer, Zig Scoops, ADP Z, or Welder? That's a good question. I I think ADP takes the cake though. ADP is definitely more overpowered. Welder's annoying, but like, Welder's balanced because it only draws three cards. Even though the Dene makes it a little more OP. Hammers are really annoying, but they've been around for a while, and as annoying and as much as I do hate them, they're balanced. It's not a coin flip. This is a good scoop net is kind of overpowered too, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's more OP and expanded than it's standard, because there's not as many combos. But yeah, ADP definitely takes the cake. What floor just though, local? Some people play with Tropical Beach. Oh yeah, I forgot to answer the question. I think the best, um... Holy damage. The best deck to build in Legacy for budget players is like Weavile Eggs. Reshi Flosion's good too. Or Amoongus Ninetales. Ninetales Amoongus is pretty good too. I want to get an energy down. Right. How much energy has he played though? Four, it's only five. Just bird keeper. There we go. Ooh, crushing hammer. We'll save that. We need a welder 2.0. Welder for um fighting would be good, but we do have that new supporter that I guess is like uh, ends resolve. Remember the RDO Septile deck? Yeah, that was a pretty fun deck. Septile GX has been, or EX has been one of my favorite EXs. It would be chaotic though. That is for sure, bro. <laughs> uh. Oh, the dead A change. Let's go. I'm glad I held the Marnie, unless he doesn't do that. Is he dead A changing? Maybe 2021, maybe. One card I would like to see reprinted is Special Charge for Twin Energy. I really would like to see Special Charge reprinted. Why is he... Oh, hmm. Dead A energy attachments are interesting. I mean, we can just keep passing. Let's do this. Go Crobat. I guess we'll play the hammer. Okay, wow, we are just not missing heads apparently. All right, let's see. Let's get energy here one time. No, no energy. Let me switch. We have left two. Yeah, well, Bird Keeper and Jirachi is here. This takes us. 
Alright, we got a switch. We didn't get an energy, though. <laughs> no. No energy. Dang it, bro. Look at my last comment. It's long. I want Pokizod. I was gonna ask you about Special Charge. Yeah, I know. Special Charge needs to come back. That's a, that's a reprint I think that'd be very healthy for the game. I think energies with the Pokemon on them look better than the Secret Rare ones. Yeah. I remember when Ultra Balls were popular. I played the Search Grove Pocket the Anta. Nice. Ultra Ball would be very interesting reprinted standard. I do think Special Charge, though, is like the top card I'd like to see reprinted. It's a healthy card for the game. It helps the Twin Energy decks out a lot. It makes those Twin Energy decks a lot more uh, feasible. So I would personally like to see a uh, special charge reprint. Oh, Ultra Beast. I thought you were about Ultra Ball. Or unless you're talking about that, I don't know. Yo, thank you, Fabian. I appreciate it. A hey. Oh, it's not knocked out though, bro. What do you mean? Alright, energy top deck one time. Oh, let's go. Alright, this is perfect. Let me just go boom boom on this. We, I'm not gonna lie, we really got lucky with those rare fossil hits too. We were hitting rare fossils like every turn too, which is pretty cool. I think we've won this. I think we've won this. Maybe. Yeah, I don't want to jump the gun. Best packs to buy and invest. Well, probably Champions Path right now, because it's worth them. If we're, it's worth the most. Any tips to get back into the game? I mean, yeah, just. Kind of just get used to standard and get a feel for what's like really good. It looks like we've won. Unless he has another ornate rod. We've won. Let's go. Bro, this deck's actually pretty good when it sets up. I, I kind of want to play Turbo Patch so you can build up Curse on one turn. That Coco idea isn't actually that bad either, though, in all honesty. That Coco idea might be better, to be honest. Why not triple acceleration energy for the Alchemy deck? It doesn't work in Alchemy. Alright, let's try this deck out one more time. It doesn't work in Alchemy. Triple energy does not work with Alchemy's attack, unfortunately. I wish an Ant Hammer comes back soon. There's way too much special energy in the game right now. We have Giratina and Scoop Up now, which is probably better because that means you have get multiple version, get multiple attempts at it. But Hammer's any energy on the board, I guess. I right, won the coin flip. Let's go. Looks like uh, my opponents recognize me. Oh, the Crobat start, bro. You hate to see it. Hopefully we can draw a Cursal here, or a Rare Fossil. Why not triple... I already read that. Okay. Oh no, we're playing against Behem? Oh, is this Behem Dracovish? Hmm, that's gonna be interesting. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry, Mikma, I apologize for forgetting. Bro. Okay, well. It's not ideal, but at least it's something. Probably gonna get Marnied here. Though, this guy doesn't have a stadium, Wonder if Lab wins us. What's the best way to play Alcremie? Alcremie? Uh, with Porygon Z. I don't think Alcremie is that great, though. It has a very bad weakness. Is it time to make an extra Machamp deck? I have one built. I, just, I built it yesterday, but unfortunately we couldn't play it because it was glitched. Oh, nah. Marshadow and Lysander's trump card would be awful reprints. Marshadow's already... Because Marnie's already bad enough. Because it puts cards to the bottom of the deck. I would personally not like to see that ever come back in the game ever again. Would you make a baby Alchemy, Alchemy deck? Yeah, that for sure. That could be fun. Like a dual Alchemy deck. I would already I already know what my title would be. Literally, my, my title of that video would be Dual Alchemy. Dual Alchemy would be the title of that video. Alright, do we have to Denny in the deck? Yes, okay. Trying to get Sir Fetch going along with the Dene Energy Attachment? Yeah. What about a Lucario V deck? I don't have a, I don't have any Lucario Vs yet, Dead Maniac. I have some trades up to try to get some, but they haven't gone through yet. Why ignoring my comments? I built Persian Lantern. It was doing stupidly on the ladder. Interesting. Call it double cream. Yeah. Got a Twitch channel? I do, but I don't stream on Twitch. Not yet. Not yet, anyways. 
I do want to switch to I want to switch to Twitch soon because it's another you know way to help me do YouTube and stuff full time. Is Sarah more popular now than Expanded? Yeah, Expanded is just kind of like Expanded is kind of bad right now. It's it's probably my it might not be my I don't know if it's my least favorite format. But uh yeah, Expanded is pretty bad right now. Expanded has a lot of awkward stuff going on. It's got annoying decks like um Ultra Necrozma, Trevnor, Eggrow, Vileplume. Yeah, it's not it's not the greatest format. I'll say that right now. Ooh, speaking of greatest format, our hand's dead. Yo, Nick, what's going on? What's your real job? Uh, just content creation. It's my source of income is uh, YouTube and other stuff that revolves around the internet. Yeah, we can try the Machamp deck. Maybe we can play this after this. Let's see what we draw. Bro, mm, I need the energy. At least we got two Arc Dissolves. Not that it really matters, though. This thing still bodies me. What's oh, got 80 HP? If we get one more Arc Dissolve play, I think we can take it out. Try Dublay Tool Drop. Expanded is such a mess. Yeah, Expanded is pretty bad. There's going to be a ban announcement, though, in October, so we'll see what happens. What's your opinion on Golurk and Expanded? I don't know if it's that good. Bad draws, yeah. How how do you put us? Uh, how how many ads do you put on a video? Well, depending on how long the video is. So the video is like only like, uh, you know, twenty minutes long. I usually put like maybe four ads on it at most. But if the video is like 30, 40 minutes, like my usual video, I usually tend to put like six ads, seven ads maybe, which is which is usually fine for a video that long. A lot of YouTubers, you know, that's like the norm for like. 30 40 minute videos is to put like seven to eight ads on that video like if i wanted to i could put an ad like every like like i i could put a ton of ads on a video and make like a ton of money but that is like you guys no that's it's not cool to do that it's like it's not a cool thing to do yeah scuba net is on the uh on the table of possibility scuba net my low tick those are uh, two cards i think that i definitely could see a ban I do want to do that Dead Maniac, but I just haven't really had the time to really uh, bother making a deck. I'll try playing the ladder with that. I mean, if you want Pokies on. <laughs> Curse uh, ability. If it's in the active, your opponent has energy from the hand of one of their Pokemon, they take their damage. Looks like they're going to get the uh, Mysterious Noise off. If we had one more Arctazole in play, we'd actually be knocking the stick out in one hit. It'd be literally impossible for them to put an energy on the Behemoth because they'd get knocked out. How much are they taking? They're taking 70 damage, right? Bro, we're 10 off, dude. It's so bad. Oh, no. It's so bad. But we can uh, put 10 damage on a, a Elegym with a uh, Hollow Missile. All right, energy top deck. The sus of all draws. All right, I'm just going to boss up the Crobat, I think. I don't know if that was worth it, but then he, I guess he has to dig for another U-turn board. How do you participate in VGC on the mainstream? I have no idea. What's the best way to get gold energies? Uh, yeah, train them for packs. Gold energies are usually around 30 packs for like the lower tier ones, but fire and dark are like, like fire's like I think 50 or something packs and then dark is like 82 packs or something. Best way to get secret energy is when new sets drop and the, the new packs are like worth a lot of packs or are worth so much that secret energies like Champions Path, for example, I got a secret dark energy for 30 Champions Path packs yesterday when it usually goes for like 80 plus. Yo, can I draw something, please? When it usually goes for like 80 plus packs. So it's like, that's the best time to get special energy. How do you lunch what I miss? Uh, not much. We just played a few games with Guardian VMAX. We're trying out this Galarian Curse of the deck, which I'm actually, I'm enjoying playing this deck. We're just drawing very poorly. Oh my gosh. The sus draws. He can bench a uh, Elegym though, which is pretty good. Until he does a doll. Darkness was over 100 packs a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it's dropped in value a little bit. I don't know why. Yeah, for 30 minutes, 6 ads is fair. Some people put like 10 ads on. Yeah, some people put like 10 ads on 13 minute videos. For 13 minute videos, I usually put like 2 or 3 ads. We need another Arctozolcus fossil. Get the sus of all draws. I don't know why I'm saying sus so much, but like. This is a great example of sus draws. This is this is some prime PTCGO gameplay right here. This is PD. This is what PTCGO gameplay looks like half the time. You don't draw anything. Okay, we finally drew. Okay, if we can get an Arctozolt here, we never even have to attack because he'll knock himself out if he attaches to him. 
Oh my gosh, dude, these draws. These draws are killing me. These draws are killing me. I'm just gonna go into the Arc Dizzle and pass. I don't want to have my guy get knocked out. Well, maybe, I guess he can't kill one hit. But, yeah. Where are my energy at? And where's my other Arctizol? It's actually really good he didn't go into the Dracovish, because I'd never be able to put... <laughs> the anti Arctizol Dracovish. The two fossils. Misplay City. As soon as he drops an Elegant, boss it for damage. I can't. I can't attack without... I can't attack. I have no energy. You decide the ads? No, YouTube does. But I can make them skippable or not. I always put my ads as skippable. I don't know if you guys have ever seen non-skippable in my videos, but I, they're always on skippable for me. Can I get a champ pack from random packs? I don't know about that, actually. Okay, finally we drew an energy. All right, this is like pretty much GG's. Because here's what we do. We go here. We hollow missile. We should play bird keeper, actually. We put one damage here. So literally because of our setup, he cannot put an energy on this and I guess we'll go we can also set up Pidgeot to be KO'd I guess here's the thing if this doesn't boss me he literally can't evolve the Bahiam what deck are you trying to play in the Players Cup I don't know yet I, can you only play one deck in the Players Cup too or when you're trying to compete can you play multiple like can you choose a deck after the tournament's done isn't the Players Cup like you know, it's like it's like PCGO tournaments, right? They're like eight player tournaments. And they try to rack up points with your tournament keys. Are the tourneys offered see I don't know. Is it a bug that I can't find you on private trades? Well yeah, gotta be on a friends list, that's why. I think if I talk in the public chat you can see me in the private trades, but you gotta be on my friends list. But unfortunately, man, I'm not accepting any uh, friend requests right now. Because I need my friends list open for tournaments and the Omnipoke League. Alright, um, it's gonna keep doing my thing, to be honest. He can't retreat now, which is really good. Let's put one there, and we'll put two here. Garver V build is busted. Garver V's cool. Yeah, they're not, Champions Path Packs aren't coming to the shop or tournaments. Thanks for answering, all the best. Love from India. Hope to see you on a high level. Thank you, Aaron, I appreciate it. You need to go unfriend me to make room. Nah, big pimp, and I ain't unfriending you. Whenever I see someone's name that I recognize, I don't offend them. Do you still get money if people skip your ads? Yeah. So you still have to watch five seconds of it. If you watch a whole ad, though, I think I do get a bit of extra money. Yeah, so he can't move, right? Oh no, hollow mi Oh, what? For some reason, I thought hollow missile wouldn't let him move. I'm an idiot. All right, well, no matter what, unless he bosses here. Nope, okay. So if he bosses here, he had a boss. We had no triple. Yo, that is huge. See, he could have bossed up something, and then he could have attached the energy, and he would have been knocked out because this isn't in the active spot. But yeah, see, he knocks himself out. I mean, he, he, I literally win. He cannot attach to Behem, or else he gets knocked out. I'll do that extra ad time. Yo, I appreciate it, weird. I do appreciate it a lot, man. Want to make a Garver Sylveon deck? How many packs do you think it's worth? Guardian's worth like two or three packs right now. It's pretty cheap. Two or three Dark Blaze packs. Yeah, I saw the Beware. I don't know what that does. All right. Someone did ask to see my uh, the Gardevoir list here real quick. So we'll pull that up. All right. Here is my list so far for the Guardy Rose deck. It's not bad. Yeah, the draws could have been a little bit better in those games, but this deck's not bad. Do you play physical tournaments? No, I uh, haven't played IRL tourneys in a long time. No problem, Mi'kmaq. All right, let's go back into some matches. <coughs> All right, uh, how are we looking for trades? I don't think any of my trades have gone through. See, I have a bunch of... Look at how many trades I have up right now. I'm trying to get a bunch of cards. I want to build Lucario V deck. Uh, but I'm not trying to change my Champion's Path cards up. Actually, honestly, we can probably open up a few Champion's Path packs. Why is Guardian two packs? Well, because it's not very good right now, so it's not worth that much. Now, I already played Garvar V Milos, and tomorrow is going to be a Garvar V Max video, probably. Oh, yeah, Machamp, right? Yeah, we'll play Machamp after you, right? Ooh, Altaria? How many of these? I got two. 
Right, let's open up. We'll open up three packs of Champions Pack. I wouldn't really call myself a pro, Milo, if I'm be honest. Oh, let's go. We got the big whale. Let's go. You love to see it. What would, what would you think if someone topped with an El Crimi VMAX? That'd be very surprising. They'd have to like get lucky with their Zacian matchups. Okay, these Ma those Marnies are annoying. We'll open up one more pack and then we'll go back and do a we'll uh, we'll play them a champ deck. Love from Bangladesh. Yo, thank you, Galeb. Thank you, man. But yeah, thanks for stopping by on the stream, dude. I appreciate it. How are those packs trade locked? Because they're up for uh, they're on public trades right now. Because I'm trying to trade them off. All right, my champ memes. How we looking? All right, this is the list I've come up with. Um, someone did recommend clay. I don't know if I like that though. In in general, let's just play with what we got. I don't have dojo in here, so I don't. I mean, I might want out a dojo though. Yeah, that was a good pull, Outcast. We got we got lucky. I forgot to favor the deck, bro. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's definitely a part-time job type of thing. It's not. It's not. I don't make enough to make it full-time right now. I'm working on it. But the amount of money I make would be like equivalent to someone working a part-time job, pretty much. Like, yeah. The reverse hollow lightning. Yeah, the reverse hollow energies are nice. If I if I keep getting those, I can trade them off. Can you trade me some champions path packs. I mean, I'm not really looking to trade them unless it's for stuff I need, though, dude. Did you see on Twitter that someone pulled a reverse hollow fairy energy? No, I didn't know that was a thing. You have Mewtwo Vivid? I do, but I don't at the same time. I don't actually have my account. The game the game is bugged. So I used to have them a long time ago, and then I traded them, but I never changed the deck boxes. So as long as I don't save the decks with the Mewtwo stuff on, they never go away. Playing against Mad Party with a bad hand. you love to see it. Alright, let's get Machop. We'll get... I think we just dead a change. We're going to have to give up our bosses, which is a little sus. Hacker? <laughs> nah. Ah, the glitch has never been patched, so... Not my problem. Oh, no energy. No energy. Did you see on Twitter someone pulled... Oh, I saw that derp. We got 162 people in the stream. Yo, welcome everybody. If you haven't liked the stream, by the way, make sure to do so if you're enjoying it. I right, research. Ah, uh, this guy's a goner. Oh, maybe not. It's only 60 damage. I mean, I can play the deck. I just need to get the right cards. But I'm not. We're not gonna do that today. I recommend clay. I I like the clay idea, but I don't know if I really want to use it. Ah, uh, he got the knockout. Unless he has no twin energy. Make sure you sub to. Yeah, if you're not sub to the channel, also make sure to subscribe it to the channel for daily PTCGO content. Reprint via Seeker? Eh, we have Aldegas. I think that's good enough, though, Pimpin. Change song to Piers? I don't know if I have the Piers theme. Aldegas? Yeah. I think Aldegas is fine. Roxy or Hapu? I think I'm just gonna go Roxy. We're just gonna do Roxy. We actually can knock him out with our first attack. Or, yeah. We're gonna Roxy here. Alright, give me some goodies. Okay, nice. Got the belt. I was like, oh, we didn't get any energy, but we chillin'. Um, ba 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 The and there's like a February set that apparently might have XY reprints. Or was it Sun and Moon reprints? It was one of the two. Fairy energies are still produced? Yeah, I don't know why that's a thing. I mean, I wish we had the things. Bim bam, bim bop, boop bam, bim bam, boom bam, bam. Yeah, boop. I remember someone, <laughs> during the Pog stream, someone came in with a name like that. It was freaking hilarious. Do you go to college and people recognize from YouTube? No. I, not everybody knows about my YouTube channel. Just like my family and like my friends. I don't really like, like, not like I'm embarrassed I do YouTube or play Pokemon. It's just like, I just don't want people knowing about it. But I have a lot of friends in my area. So like, I do know a lot of people, but it's not like, uh, nah, no one knows me from YouTube, no. 
I've never been recognized from like some guy who goes like, yo, you're LDF from YouTube. It's never happened before in public. Bring Megas back without that stupid spirit link. <laughs> they should. Play some gem promos are very cheap there. Yeah. Okay, um, let's see what we do here. Oh, now a pretty good top deck. It sucks we had to prize two, two drill bursts because extra drills really good in this matchup. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know why I played that calm to be honest. I might want to play more energy in here, to be honest. Yeah, we have the karate belt rip. Yeah, this deck might need more energy, to be honest. How do you get out of the Amistar? Oh, it's just there for discard bait. I just wanted to play like random stage two that, that stage two funny Pokemon that wouldn't accidentally get put in play, but can also be uh, discarded. Oh, we didn't get a drill bear rip. Well, oh, Machoke can one shot the, why didn't I, bro? Why am I not using Machoke? It can one shot the Bunnelby. Oh, okay, I threw the game. I threw the game. I should just, I should just went Machoke. It one shots Bunnelby, bro. They're reprinting black and white. Oh, are they? They kind of are, but they're they're not as like they're more of a power because they have more HP. Yeah, I do got I don't think we need to play Rick any Colossal, but I like the idea of just playing four secret cloths just to have some bling. Ooh, okay, Marnie, that's really good. That can give us a karate belt energy. I play your Tina Chomp deck you posted days ago. Nice. How did you, how did it do? The Mega Level Yeah, the Mega Evolutionary was fun. I really like Mega Manetric. That was one of my favorite decks. Can you copyright the word bro whenever someone plays Pokemon? I might have to, bro. Nah, that's stupid. <laughs> might the copyright sus at this point. I keep, I keep saying the word sus. I keep saying sus. All right, uh, bring in the machoke. The machoke slam. Oh, perfect top deck. Copyright brus, sheave with bro, bodied. I might have to. I think all those words do have to be copyrighted. Uh, we don't need the Machop anymore, so let's just go here. All right, nice. We got an energy for this boy. All right, we need to get a drill bur off the prizes. I really want to see a drill bur here. There we go. Do you foresee this being a full time job? Oh, 100%. Dad hand, indeed. No, a stamp to three? Bro, what? We don't have many supporters. We're out of research. Oh, we have a few. Okay, we still got an energy, I guess, which is good. We didn't get Machamp, though. Ah, crap. I think we lose here, unless he doesn't have an energy. I still think Night March is better than Mad Party. Ah, oh, Mad Party can do more damage without modifiers like E-Power. So, I don't know. Did he daddy change away a boss? He did. Oh, no, he didn't. Did he? I don't know. He probably just wins. He probably has the last boss in hand to win the game here. Yeah, I thought this was going to be winnable, but yeah, we really needed Excadrill, I think, to help us out. Alright. We need to draw a Machamp here to knock this out. Ah, You hate to see it. Not bad, though. I, can't, I might want to play more energy, man. I don't know. I feel like this deck might need more energy, but we have Karate Belt, so it's not too bad. Obviously, Dojo can go in here, too. I don't know what to cut for the dojo, though. Yeah, my option expanded, though. Shame and Apex. Yeah. But Mad Party also has those in expanded, too. Have you ever played Mew EX Hopeless Scream Shininja when it was legal? Nah. I've gotten a request for it. What's the best way to get in a legacy with not too much stuff to get me in? I mean, building, like, a Weavile like the Q deck and a, a Ninetales Amoongus deck... No, I don't, I don't think we need the cost line weird. Those are like some of the best decks. The V, yeah, the V Max here might be good when uh, stuff like EDP leaves. So Eternus is busted, but as long as Fang Tips are good. Wilder should not be banned, in my opinion. ADP should be banned. Lando Garb. Yeah, Lando Garb is another good one to build for uh, Legacy. I forgot about that deck. Is there any way to play Guardian right now? Uh, mm, yeah, you can uh, play with greens. Guardian's been doing decently well in tournaments. So that hasn't been like insanely good. 
Banzation? I don't think Zacian's the problem, to be honest. Um... Let's get another Drill Burn play. Stop playing hammers, bro, dude. These these dumb decks and their hammers. It's cheesing me. Oh, the Marnie. Sus, bro. The Marnie and the hammers. Can you do this roasting bad trades? Nah, I don't know if I'll ever do another video on that. It just wasn't very... I don't know. It just doesn't seem very funny, if that makes any sense. I don't know. It's like something that I've kind of grown out of. Best way to put it. Just stop printing VMAX's metal weakness. I need to do that, yes. Is there any nice grass decks? Yeah, Edgar Al Rillaboom and Butterfree VMAX are good. Would you play Excadrill Control? Probably not. I'm not a fan of playing those decks. I'm not very good at playing them either. In my opinion. They should make an update where everyone can play casual decks, nothing broken allowed. They could add, definitely, they could add more formats for sure. They could definitely add more interesting formats. Like, they can make a non VMAX format, a non tag, non, like a no VMAX GX format, stuff like that. would be really cool if they did that. Yes, sir. Crushing Hammer is cursed, bro. Everybody likes playing Crushing Hammer on the ladder today. It is very frustrating. Flapple Dugong? Maybe for a future video. I think they really need to start containing the power creep. I agree. The power creep is a little ridiculous. Okay, hopefully they don't item lock me here because, of course, Marnie, you know, gives me such bad hands because Marnie is definitely a balanced card. Eva Winston. All right, we're just going to go with the extra drill. We don't even really need them a champ in this matchup either, to be honest. Getting to Dene is risky because Galarmine. We have two switch though. Sun and Moon era was such a great time. Yeah, the Sun and Moon era is really looking back was not bad at all. It was definitely good. Okay, kind of a sus hand. How long you stream? I've been streaming for an hour and 42 minutes. All right, hopefully I don't lose any important cards here. Eh, I don't like the energy getting discarded. Especially because this guy has hammers. There's no way to enforce something broken because there's always going to be a deck that is clearly... It is true, but ADP is like the deck though that just makes other decks unplayable. What if the deck said also included reason? I don't know. Well, this hand's a bit better. I mean, this matchup should be easy, as long as this guy doesn't get, you know, a bunch of heads. Wish we still had Drachi Prism. Yeah. As soon as you get rid of the three prize for Hitmon, will rise up and dominate. <laughs> One day. Hitmon Chan Altaria is definitely a video I want to do. Yo, Kalanite, what's going on, man? Do you play Retrieval? Not in this deck. I might want to play an Ornate Rod or two. I definitely want to play Ornate Rod in here. Definitely thought the Black and White Air was the best. The XY was pretty good too. Okay. Thank you for getting tails on that card. Alright, that's good. As long as it doesn't get any more heads. They should add the diamond and pearl cards. Yeah, they should. I don't know if we'll ever do that though, because that's a lot of coding they gotta do, don't forget. And they can't just, you know, put that in like legacy or unlimited or anything. There's just that's a lot of coding. But I would like to see that. If they had a bigger dev team, they would de they could definitely put the time and effort into adding older sets to the game, for sure. Boss top deck. Uh oh. Hmm. I'm gonna play this. Ugh, that's annoying. Now let's take the switch and the energy, I guess. I was hoping not to see both switches there, but this game had other plans. I need some Machamps. They're not that expensive. They're not that expensive. You can't just say code. Code LDF. I only started XY, yeah. The XY era is pretty good. I mean, people didn't like Seismitoad, but I think the air I think the XY era was pretty balanced. I think the cards from Shore and Shield are way too overpowered. 
That is true. Zashin V is really overpowered and broken. No, it's, not, it's not broken, but it is true, though. Zashin V is like a very, it's a very overpowered card. Oh. I just realized Excadrill doesn't one shot Vikavolt with, uh, because of the, the thing. That's nuts. Yo, Jigglypuff, what's going on? I did Green Altaria, it was bust of a boss. Yeah, I feel like boss would counter that deck, but I'm definitely gonna try out Green Altaria for a video soon. Wailer Stall. I might open up some more Champions Path Packs after, open up a couple more, see what we get. I have not pulled a VMAX yet. I've pulled three Shiny Charizards before I pulled a VMAX, so. Logic has gone thrown out the window. Ooh, he's down a boss, that's good. Yeah, we can't one-shot Vikavolt. That's a little unfortunate. So only way to, we should get more Machamps in play. We definitely need more Machamps. I think one day they'll add all the sets to the game. One day. I mean, if, if they just had a bigger dev team, they definitely could do that. Hmm. Yeah, we can't knock this thing out in one hit. Honestly, I might just do our first attack here for 60 to soften it up. I don't really want to discard the top four cards in my deck. Just in case. I'd rather just hit this for 60 and then finish it off after. We just need to get like a big Machamp play going. I forgot all about using Machamp, though. The trades on pubs are terrible. They're asking for a Crobat. Yeah, I know. People are lowballing, but... I, I'm, I, I've been a victim of lowballing too. Well, not a victim. But I have been an accuser of lowballing. I have lowballed before. And there's the Dene. That's fine. We got a switch in the deck. The top deck of dreams. Hmm. I think we have to play this now. I think we just gotta play it and knock him out with Excadrill. I think, a, nah, we don't need Cryobell anymore. We have 10 cards left, so we can start attacking with our other attacks soon. Okay, I need to, I need to go into stack view. They're adding the game by reprinting cards, yeah. Okay, that's not that doesn't red as curse. I think we've won this though. We just gotta knock out this Vikavol with either Machamp or Excadrill. We just gotta hope he doesn't stamp and hammer heads me. Oh, he could win by trapping to Dene again though. I didn't consider that. Hmm. Okay, never mind. We're good. We've won. We have won thy game with Macho Revenge, which is doing how much damage? Oh, we're gonna be uh we're gonna destroy this Vikavol's hopes and dreams. You think, um, Macho Revenge for how much? Holy, 600 damage. You think it's worth maybe getting a Sableye gem promo for 30 packs? Yeah. I don't know. The gem promo, the Sableye gem promo is not as expensive. It's like the uh, Jirachi and the Panguro gem promo. So not as expensive. All right, let's open up some Champions Path packs. That Macham deck's fun to play. I definitely think there are some things we could change about it. I would love to double upload Champions Path decks, but it's just too much effort, and I gotta make sure I'm spread out. Use Mill? Nah, 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 nah. I'm not playing Mill in that. Ooh, Eldegoss V. I mean, I didn't need... I have, literally already have 26 Eldegoss from, from Rebel Clash on my account. But Icaterpie is playing Mill in the Omnipoke League. He's already... Ooh, upscale. He's already played uh, Mill against Zapdos TCG. Do you have a Selby Prime deck? I do not. I, only, I think I only have like one Selby Prime. I never really cared for that Selby Genesect deck. Why is the Altaria locked? Did I pull him out of the lock packs? I can't remember what I... That's weird. Play some Eggra Rillaboom? Nah, bro. We're playing new decks. <laughs> Another Eldegoss. Lol. Still, no VMAXs. Alright, let's go down to 190 packs. Can you hand me an Eldegoss? I mean, I could, honestly. If you have anything you need for it. That's how I gotta go. It's all good, weird. Uh, the stream won't be much longer anyways. It's almost, it's gonna be four soon. I'm still gonna stream for a little bit longer, but you're not gonna be missing too much. Ooh, another Voltaria. Okay, Gardevoir. Gardevoir. How do you get Lock Champions Path Packs? Uh, these, those are on, uh, I have those up for trade right now. That's why they're locked. You can get Lock Packs from the newsletter, but for some reason I never got the newsletter. So I didn't get the three free packs. I don't know why. Obstacle Bronze on Altaria. Maybe. Well, I actually, um, let's, we can play that. I have an Obstagoon Altaria deck built. 
Wait, do I? What? I built it last night. What the heck? Goon Altaria. Yeah, I have this deck built. This might actually be a pretty low. I need to get another big power cell. But this might be a busted deck. We can play this today. All right, let's just see how many reverse hollow stuff I got. We need one more swab blue. We need, I actually, honestly though, I kind of like the I kind of like the foil Altaria, to be honest. I don't really like the uh, the non thing. I don't really like the reverse hollow Altaria as much as I like the flare one. All right, let's play some Obstagoon Altaria. Yes, sir. 140 damage nowadays is not enough to do a VMAX knockout. So that's the thing. Pokemon can make as many stage twos as they want, but as long as they keep making them do two for 100, two for 110, they're always going to be crap and they're never going to work. The new Shiftry, really cool ability, does 110 damage. That's not going to get you anywhere. It, I'm sorry. It's just like Pokemon need to buff the damage on some of these Pokemon. They print all these really cool new non-V, non-GX Pokemon. And people get hyped over them, and then they do like only like 110 damage, which doesn't even two shot most V Maxes or even V Pokemon. So it's like, what's the point? Like, what's the point of printing these Pokemon if they're never gonna work because their damage is so friggin' low? You have to buff the damage. If that Shiftry did 160 for two, it'd probably be a little bit better. I'm just, I need an rant because I just find that annoying. We're actually up against Dragapult, which is a pretty bad matchup because they have Shred that two shots Altaria. Everything, yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't want the reverse Altaria though. I kinda like my boy being hollow. Ugh, our hand is very bad though. Well, they are one prizers. It is true, but I don't know. Their damage needs to be a bit better, man. If they want if they want those one prizers to ever see play, they need to definitely do more damage, bro. We thought I'm just gonna concede. They need to do more damage if if they want them to ever work. I don't know. It, it, I just wanted to go on that quick rant, but it's like it's true. <laughs> like, I want to do a video on that shifter when it comes out, but its damage is so low. It's like, I'm never going to win a game with it. And it's going to be stressful. I'm trading two Altarius for Red Gyarados. Eh, I don't know. The Red Gyarados box isn't that great. Scrafty does 180. It does. You play Turbo Patch and Gardevoir? I play the Rose Engine. I play the Rose. All right. <laughs> that was a funny rant. Uh, but it is true. Pokemon do need to figure out what they're going to be doing. Um, Pokemon just need to need to buff some stuff. It's like when a 340 HP Pokemon is printed, you can't be making Pokemon only do 110 damage. I mean, bro, uh, what, like, what's that going to do? It's gonna, that's going to barely put a dent in. And then they Malolana, bro. Never going to work. 90 for two Obstagoon Decidue. I mean... Well, I mean, they're more balanced because of their ability, right? So it's like their abilities make them more balanced, but it's like if they print a Pokemon and it's only doing like 150 damage, it's like, well, what's the point? Like, that's not going to, that's not, doesn't two shot any V Maxes. Like, it's, I don't know. I don't know. They could print like a choice band reprint, but only works on non V and GX Pokemon. That would be a really good card to have in the format. Like a choice band 2.0, where like, you put on a non-GX or V Pokemon, they do 30 damage to Vs and GXs. That would be a card that is healthy for the game. And Special Charge, so that these Twin Energy, Glossopod, Aerodactyl, um, Mad Party decks could be a bit better. So I think Special Charge would be another good card to have back in the game. Those are some definite cards that I think need to be reprinted. Why no Muscle Band reprint? I mean, Vitality Band's a cool card. I actually think it's kind of low-key good because there's a lot of moments where 10 damage is good, but... I mean, yeah, I think they should just make more buffs. They just need to buff some stuff, and we should be good. I don't know. But yeah, Standard is getting a bit worse right now. Ooh, he's got the Volcanion. Why no Muscle? Oh. Yo, Zen Vega, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by on the stream today. Energy top deck? Okay. Can we get a goon? Bro. Never mind. I don't even... We shouldn't have even attached that. Hmm, okay. Um, let's go here. Get a zigzagoon. Ah, do we really need the peers? I don't know, actually. If the peers is worth it to put it in here.
Let's pass. Just got a Surf Edge V box. Nice. That's hard to find, bro. I I want to do a video on Surf Edge V, but I couldn't I couldn't get my hands on a V or a box at all. Yo, I appreciate it, Jordan. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you. Dragon's still five packs. Well, Dragapult is still decent. Like, there are some scenarios where it can beat Eternatus. But Dragapult is still good against decks that aren't Eternatus. So it's still like a decent deck. I even picked it as one of my decks. Oh, he's new Flare Starter? Okay. I picked it for one of my decks I was going to be playing to the OPOP OP League too. So it's like still a good deck. I could give you the code for it, LDF. If you want, man. If you're not going to use it, I actually would appreciate that. All right, Rare Candy. Yeah, same. The Galarian, the Galarian Dardamanatan looks pretty cool, but yeah, it does have that awful metal weakness. How much is Sir Fetch V worth? I don't know. It's hard to find, though. I, that's all I know for sure. I think Loki. We're going to Marnie. I just want to get a Goon in play. We got an Ops to Goon in play. We can win this. Mm, ba -ba 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 -boom. That is not an obstacle. Ah, we just gotta pray our uh, goon here doesn't get bossed up. We can two shot. I guess we can still two shot with Altaria. We can use powerful energy to two shot, and then we can twin. So I did put a powerful energy in here too, just to do the twenty extra damage. How do I give it to you? The box is 20, 20 bucks. I guess the card is less. Ah, oh, the guy of the cheese, bro. Whoa, we knocked out the Altaria, not the goon. All right. Thank you, good sir. We try to play Incineroar? Yeah, for sure. Uh, we can try to make that work at some point. Alright. We don't have any rows left. We need to get a rare candy. Two goons. Only one rare candy? Oh, go figure. That's why we were not finding it. Alright. Um, ba -ba -boom, ba -ba 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 rare candy. No, not that. I mean, I should, probably shouldn't have even done Stellar Wish. TBH. That probably wasn't worth it. Might as well get another Zigzagoon. They last for like 50 packs for one Surf Fetch. Just a waste. Yeah. Alright. One time. Ooh, you hate to see it. Uh, this is not going well, to be honest with you. <laughs> In the Omnipoke League, I would use Excadrill, Milmus, Sunfist, and a Scorch. I'll definitely be playing some wacky decks. I have some cool ideas for certain YouTubers that I probably will play against. What's the best theme deck for the Sword and Shield format? Um, the best one right now would be the Charizard Relentless Flame theme deck. It's also the best in the theme deck format. Um, but it's also a good deck to pick up for standard because Charizard is pretty decent with like Welder. And then also the uh, other good theme deck is the um, the other good theme deck is the Surfetch V theme deck isn't bad either. And the Darmantan one's decent too. The new ones from Dark Blaze. Ooh, he's going for that break sword. I don't think that matters though, does it? Oh, he has double blaze too. I mean, this was winnable. We just needed to get uh, the rare candy goon and we prized the candy. We gotta keep bringing in Jirachi. It's Cinema Review with Mew Mew. Yeah, it's Cinema Review is gonna make Welder decks and Mew Mew decks pretty good. I'm gonna change up the song one last time here. Um, on. Time Gear Remix. Sure. Alright, we're bringing the Jirachi and we gotta pray we get a uh, good card here. We can't move Jirachi though. I'm conceding that. I don't think that's winnable. That was not a winnable game. 
Dragonite is pretty good in theme. Dragonite one's all right too. The Blastoise theme deck, Trental Cannon is pretty good. I'll be doing one soon, Mirror, hopefully. What about the Rillaboom theme deck? Yeah, the Rillaboom theme deck is okay. It's actually, the Rillaboom one is better than the Inteleon and Cinderace one. But yeah, I do want to, I want to play Waylord. I just need to get more Waylords and we should be Gucci. You think Rillaboom VMAX decks are decent? They're okay. The only issue is, is they only caps at 280. It's not terrible though. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll triple net him. And we can then go twin energy, knock him out with Altaria for 60 damage. Gotta go, Mississippi State Build Plane. All right, see you, Landon. Thanks for stopping by. I'll be ending the stream soon anyway, so you're not missing too much. We need Wally and Force Giant Plants. Now, I don't know about Force Giant Plants. I don't know. We have Egg Growl, though, so that's kind of already needed. Yep, it's ADP. I mean, we can beat ADP. It's just as long as they don't have too many attackers. How would you even use Sir Fetch? The thing. Well, yeah, the way to play the Sir Fetch would be probably maybe with Colossal. That'd probably be the same way to play Grappalock, too, in all honesty. Can Stondrin or VMAX win against Eternatus? It can. I've done a video on it, and it it destroys it. My first time in a live stream. Now I want to come every time. Yeah, I'm hoping to stream more often um, when I maybe move out. This might be the last Champions Pass stream for a bit. Yeah, this might be the last live stream for quite a while. I'm not sure yet when I'm going to be able to stream next. It just comes down to whether or not I'm busy or not in the next few days or whatever. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I might be too busy tomorrow to stream. We'll see. It just, yeah, it depends on what I'm doing. It depends on what I am doing. Well, plus, I'm going to be busy on October anyways. I got to be packing up and everything. It's going to take a lot of time to get going. Show the deck list for this deck. Yeah, I can show it after. I think after this game, I'm going to be ending the live stream. It's been two hours. Another random deck, but what about Rhyperior? I haven't built that yet. But there's a few Rhyperior archetypes I've seen going around. You want that code? Yeah, if you want to send it to me, Bap, I would appreciate it. I guess the best way to send it would be on Twitter, right? Just like DM me on Twitter. Champion's Path came way faster. It did. All right, there's Altaria. I kind of want to just go research. Yeah, I'm just going to research. I just want to try to get the twin here. There we go. Yeah, because it's a special set. And I'm, I'm glad it came out. It kind of gives extra content in between the in between the two sets. Of course he plays hammers, bro. Can every deck just not play hammers, bro? Uh, another hammer. Okay, yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind if I have to play against one more deck playing Crushing Hammer. How do you if your account gets banned or hacked? Well, I have a few backup plans. Um, I do want to get a demo account at some point. So I'm going to maybe try to figure out a way to get a demo account one day. My backup plan, though, if I get banned, would just be try to get a demo account. Well, not banned. If I got banned, I wouldn't be able to get a demo account because the devs would be like, oh, you got banned. But what the heck would I get banned for? But if I ever got hacked, I would definitely try to um, get a demo account. Yeah, yeah, Discord works too. Discord works too. I'm tired of hammers too. It's, it's, it's good right now, but it's like, they may be good, but they're also very, very annoying. <laughs> they're very, very, very annoying. And since they're so popular right now on the ladder, it's like, it's, it's, it's not fun to play against. How do you get a demo account? A demo account is an account that has every card in the game locked. Um, the only way you can get them is if you're a content creator or a caster for Pokemon themselves. I am not a caster. I am a content creator. So, but they don't give them out anymore, apparently. So, it's the only issue. We'll see, though. I do want to get one. I was going to try to get one for Champion's Pass because I knew it would be so hard to get these cards. But, we're all good. So, but I do want to get one. Well, demo caps are also really good for, like, early content. Why does this guy play Absol? They're also good for, like, like early content, too. Right? It's like, 
set comes out, I have every card in the game. Even the fossil gems? Maybe. You can get the vivids, I think, too, if you're if they're nice enough. Ooh, why would he put the energy on? He needs it for the guru. Uh, we should play the power for energy. We actually should attach a goon, but my man's got hammer, so I think we're just gonna. Oh, we should play the power for energy no matter what. Misplay. LDF needs a demo account. I want one. I wanted one for the longest time, but back when I asked for one, I only had like 500 subs, and no one gave it to me, Kappa. But yeah, I do want to get a demo one day. I, I don't know who to talk to, though, either. That's the other thing, like... I try to get a demo account. Who do I message to get one? Right? That's the other thing. I don't know who to message. Ugh, this is bad. He's gonna knock me out, build up the Guru. Does 100 damage. We have 10 HP remaining. Oh, we just need a better hand. I think we should just cut that Piers out of the deck and play an extra draw supporter. What's your favorite fighting deck? Uh, uh, I like playing Lucario and expand it with focus. Lucario yaks with focus sash. Okay, he doesn't have enough metals left. But does he have another energy, though? That's the question. Hopefully soon, Tushar. Yeah, hammers are annoying. Yo, Richard, how you doing? Maybe try talking to Puka? Nah, I don't know if Puka has his things open. I've never talked to him before. You're a good content creator. Definitely deserve a demo account. Yo, I appreciate it, Skywing. Yeah, I just... The only way I can get one, I'd have to, like, email Pokemon. I don't know who to talk to, though. So he retreats. This guy has one random Vitality Band. I'm gonna cry. I don't know if that was worth it to do that. We can maybe get an Obstagoon. I mean, we're in top deck mode, which is not good. Once again, my girl Marnie giving us bad hands because it doesn't shuffle the deck. Wailer seems to be the memest of memes. It is. I would talk to Trainer Chip. He might know. But Trainer Chip's demo account is from casting. It's not from content creation itself. They don't give demo accounts. But now they are. All right, perfect bait. On uh, Discord bait? On Discord pipe. They haven't given demo accounts in like four years. But uh, maybe they should start doing it again for the new age of content creators. Because there are some big counts. Like Yellow Swan and Dark Intergo, they have demo accounts. They don't play the game anymore. Um, so they should really maybe consider giving more out now to the newer age of content creators. You know? I will see you, as Steve, if you're heading out. Peace out, man. Thanks for stopping by. All right, please don't have a uh, energy and a vitality band, or even just an energy in general. E switch. All right, that's fine. He actually, might be out of energy altogether. We could trap him. I mean, we need to draw something here. If we can draw an Oranguru, or not Oranguru. If we can draw a Obstagoon, I think we win the game. Oh no, we don't. We still have to deal with that crushing hammer cheese. Oh my god. Well, we could have beat ADP, but uh, yeah, Marnie puts cards at the bottom of the deck. Because that is definitely fun. That is true, Alan. That is very true. If they're convinced enough, they might revive demo accounts. But I just... The problem is, the people who gave them out don't play the game anymore. Didn't a Blue Golf Ball have one? I think, yeah, I think he had the uh, 12 Blue Dolphins account. I'm pretty sure he had the 12 Blue, Ball. The 12 Blue Gol Dolphins account. Yes, we're still in the game. I right, thank God. Don't have to lose to this. Uh, let's get another Swablu because we can two-shot this thing. Probably have the net the goon though. Okay. We probably gave him a crushing hammer. I yeah, I think I think a blue golf ball had the account. He's rich so he can make everything. But like it's more important for day one set drops, grave. That's everything. And when new promos come out that are expensive. No, but Donald got that Donald got the um Donald got that account, I think, after someone else did. I think it was Mike PDC Joe, I think, had the 12 blue, the 12 blue gold. The, the, Kel, what, what's this guy playing? Yeah, I think, um, I think Mike PDC Joe had the 12 blue gold, Dolphins account, and I think it was given to Golf Ball, maybe? I know it was Mike PDC Joe who had. I was actually talking to him recently about that. I mean, if Dark Intercool's not playing anymore, I could take the, I could take that Dolphins account off his hands. If I'm allowed. Yeah, Marty's from Sword and Shield. Is so one champion's path really worth about 16? No, that is not the case. 
Yo, Ray Tapia. Yo, enjoy the content. Don't stop the grind, Brody. Thank you, bro. I appreciate the donation. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. That is awesome. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's get some hearts in the chats for my mans. Oh, I just realized we're actually... Okay, here's what we do. I got an idea. I share mine with you. They let me. Yeah, I wonder if, like, if that would actually be allowed, though. Why don't we just win? We just go scoop up net. Energy. Scoop up net energy. Obstacle. It's just, yeah, but yeah, thank you, Ray. I do appreciate that $10 tip. I appreciate it a lot, bro. Thank you, man. Let's get some hearts in the chat for my man, Ray. Thank you, dude. All right, now we just hope this guy doesn't play, um, Mawile. I mean, bro, Mawile, Keldeo, Absol, Cryagonal, Ke like, bro, there's no way this guy plays a Mawile GX. Yeah, it's just weak one prices. Yeah, thank you, Ray. I appreciate that a lot, my guy. Thank you. Oh, is my mic still on? Okay, I'm just making sure. I guess Keldeo can attack me. Bro, how much energy does this guy have, dude? Are you serious? Okay, I mean, <laughs> he's only played one E-Switch, which is kind of sketchy. I mean, this is spicy, but it's also annoying. I always watch your vids during work. Yo, I'm glad I could entertain, man. I Thank you, man. Uh, do we Marnie him? I like, bro, how, let's, let's check his energy count. One water, two roars, that's three. Three medals in the discard. Six, eight... So he's got four in play, seven. He's played 11 energy. There's no way this guy plays 12 energy. I'm just going to attack him and assume he doesn't have any energy left. <laughs> I don't know. Deck him out? I might be able to. I, do I have a boss left? I do, right. Yeah, I saw one off the rose. We could maybe boss his Zam if he's out of switch. It worked. Finally, a message. Nice. On Discord? Kaylin Cynthia? What can he get back? I guess Maulana, boss. If he plays Mawile, well, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I watch you because the PCG used to watch stop uploading. You got a great channel. Thank you. We lost. How do you have waters left? Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I'm okay. All right, I'm ending the stream here, guys. I am not. I am not. Not happy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> People build the weirdest decks, and it always counters. You have a Discord? Yeah, I do. Not a server, but an account. All right. For starters, we're cutting the peers out. You just want to play 4-4 four, four research. I think we cut the capture energy, too. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we need the capture energy. We'll cut this for a... Uh, I don't know. I guess a third rare candy. Just to have three in the deck. I do want to make my own Discord server, but I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna end the stream here. I'm a little uh, a little salty after that loss to ADP. <laughs> to be honest with you, that was kind of sus. Uh, but thank you for watching the stream, guys. If you enjoyed today's PDCGO live stream, leave a like, I guess. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's video is gonna be on Dreadnought VMAX. And then Gardevoir. And then maybe something like Cursula, Waylord. I might do a video on the Machamp deck too. I kind of want to play that again. That was fun to play. Um, thanks for stopping by the stream, guys. Uh, Thank you for the two people who also donated. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on another stream maybe soon. It depends. If I'm if I'm not busy, I'll try to stream again sometime this week. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Um, I should be getting a new webcam soon too. So keep your eye out for that. See, I have to like do this and it kind of gets rid of the fuzziness. But I will have a new webcam soon. So keep your eye out for that.